I want. Yeah. Except for a wife and kids and a house. It's like I always dreamed about buying a house with somebody. Like, if we got a house together. You want to look at houses this weekend? <laughs> you really just be talking, Laurent. I'm dead serious. Bless it. I got everything in my life that I want except a girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. Dun, dun, dun. Listen, guys, listen. We're going to have a special one for you tonight. Listen, we're going to be having a super panel. But before we get to the super panel, let me just set, give my sentiments and quick thoughts and feelings because we're going to have, I've got a special guest to come on and have a little bit of a conversation to clear up some of the things that were happening on this last episode. You know what I mean? So listen, if those of you in the chat, if you are not a member you want to get the membership right now because what I'm about to do is going to be interesting, it's going to be fun, and you're going to get some answers. So listen, this is the only place to be. I'm going to tell you now, grab yourself the membership because I'm going to make it members only in about five minutes. After I've done what I've done, I'm going to make it members only. So if you're not a member already, you're going to miss out on this great show. All right, cool. Let me just say this first and foremost. I want to be very honest, and we spoke about this last time. Any man calling his girl a, a B word is out of order. It's straight up out of order. Um, you know, there's no room for it. Um, there's just no, there's no room for it. There's literally um, no space, uh, you know, for that particular kind of behavior, right? And, you know, I, for me personally, um, whenever you get to that realm of calling your, your, your girl a, a B word, it kind of shows that, you you know, there's a, there's unbrokenness there when it comes to how you deal with women and how you see women. You know, you always see women as the enemy rather than seeing them as their helpmate. The Bible just says that, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, that, you know, it's not good for a man to be alone. Then he says, obviously, it goes on to say that, listen, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, he who finds a wife obtain a favor from the Lord. Like women are helpmates. The, uh, the, the word helpmate is also described as a Holy Spirit. I want to let you know how important that word helpmate is. And that when you find someone who can, who can be a helpmate, you don't want to be calling them the B word. They're supposed to help you. You're not helping anybody by calling them the B word, right? So I want to make it very, very clear. I'm against that fully 100, okay? Now, there are obviously circumstances that lead up to that situation, but I still believe you must have some level of self-control in that scenario that you don't say that about the woman that you love and you care about. You know what I'm saying to you? That's me saying it first and foremost. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so for, for me personally, I, I I don't rock with that first thing, you know what I'm saying too? So we want to say that, um, you know, we're, we're against that. So shout out to Leron, um, you know, he going to have to address that because he didn't cut, he went on Twitter and then put a rant on and I said, I looked at the rant and I said, this is too emotional. This is too emotional. I was like, this is too emotional. This is too emotional, bro. This we we need you to pipe it down. And I got a wrong name on. I was like, you we need you not to be doing this emotional stuff because now you're addressing stuff in a way that people are gonna be able to use it against you. You know what I mean? And and if you don't if you don't take your time, if you don't take your time, and I, I put this in my other reviews, so I won't go too deep, but if you don't take your time when it comes to emotional affairs, before you know it, um before you know it you end up in a situation. Do you get what I'm saying to you? So you, you should always, as a man specifically, take your time. Okay? Always, 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 always take your time. Um, you know, so for me personally, um, you know, I, I would say, you know, that a rule of thumb as a man, just slow it down. Because what happens is when you don't slow it down, you get angry, you say something. We don't get the same leniency that women get when it comes to these situations. You become, you say something wild, it can't be taken back, man. So, you know, anybody out there, I want you to chill. Now, look, you know, Super Panel will be coming on in a few minutes. As I promised, this is going to go to members only because what I'm about to do, I'm about to have a conversation, okay? Because you see, when I, you know, I like to go straight to the source, Remember I told you, I like, I like to ask direct questions. And if you're willing to, I'm always willing to. You know what I'm saying to you? If you're willing to, I'm always willing to. Do you know what I'm saying to you? If you're willing to, I'm always willing to ask those hard questions um, and, um, you know, and, and talk direct. Now, since obviously, you know, Leron has already been on the channel, I don't need to do the whole process of doing an interview because we've already done it. So, you know what I said? I listen he decided he wanted to volunteer himself to come on this channel to come and explain a few things. Now, here's the thing. I'm, I'm all for it, but we're going to ask some hard questions. Since he decided that he wants to come and address these issues specifically, I think it's good. I think it's, I think it's, 
you know, I think it's it's a, a it's a solid thing to do. If you if you got want to come up here, and you want to address some certain things, but we are going to ask some really really difficult questions. We're going to ask some very hard questions. We're going to ask some questions that are going to you know make him think. Because what I'm saying to you um, is, we didn't like what we saw. Then we didn't like the answers after. Um, you know that that we you know that we saw too, and and so we need some we need something we need something that's going to be a little bit different to kind of understand where you're coming from because where you can get to a point where you can call the woman a b-word and then you're laughing about it this is what people are really annoyed about okay so um you know now it's about to go members only if you're not a member i've put the link i've linked it there click on it if it's not working for you get off your phone go onto your laptop if your laptop don't work on your ipad okay if your ipad don't work go onto your phone if you are trying to get onto the membership i'm telling you now if you're not a member already, you can't talk in the chat. So you won't be able to ask any questions. You won't be able to comment. You won't be able to make, be a part of this great conversation. We've got 200 people in the room. I need you to like the channel and like, and share, and subscribe. Okay? Okay? Like, share, and subscribe. All right? Cool? All right? We like it. You love it. All right. Let's get into this because I've got my brother Laron on here. I want to hear some answers. Okay? Master Laron. What up, though? What up, though? <laughs> Captain, you were here a few a few weeks ago, okay, all right. Now we're here again because yeah. of the existential crisis of what's happened on the last episode, and it's an existential the crisis. The cat in the last episode, you mean? What the is cat. the cat? Wait, wait, wait. When you say the cap, let me go straight in. I don't want to waste time. I want to go straight in. What do you mean by this cap? Before I address that issue, go on. So we saw where she was in the lounge, and she said. Or in her confessional, she said, I was in front of her face and I said, called her all kinds of B's and all kinds of F's and all that other stuff, right? We saw that. I was on a cruise. I couldn't, I mean, I'm a little, I'm your, I'm your skin color right now. I was on a cruise. I couldn't say anything yesterday. I couldn't even watch it. Got back home and saw that she admitted that Mika told her that, right? And Mika also admitted that she told her that. So those are, that's two different things, right? That's very irresponsible of somebody to say in front of basically millions of people that I did X when she know I didn't do this. Now, she did hear secondhand information from Mika. So she's going off a of hearsay. She's going off a of hearsay. We're talking about in that event right now. We're not talking about the episode, how it played out, because there's a lot of stuff they cut. Obviously, you just showed a clip in the beginning where they cut another piece out so we're talking about that event you went in that lounge and said i said x when you didn't hear me say x that's hearsay that's hearsay there's a lot of things people told me maya said about me but i never presented that as facts i've always confronted her and asked her directly about did you say this let me get a fully a, a good understanding about what's going on i never presented that to tommy or any of the other cast members as facts when I just heard it from somebody else. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So to, so so let me just make this clear so I understand where you're coming from before I start jumping in. Um you're saying to, you're saying that she heard this from another source, which was Mika. So you're yeah. saying that Mika told her that she heard that you said yeah. that she's the B word, right? Right. And the, you know what's so crazy? I never even knew she thought I said that until I saw that episode. I mean, that clip. This whole time. This is almost a year later. Wait, 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 I wait, 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 wait. She thought I said that. Wait, 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 wait. Pause, pause, pause. I don't want to run too fast now. So I want to just make it very clear. So I want to be able to make sure we're getting in alignment with what we're saying here. You're, so just as a premise starting off, you're saying that the information that came to, to Maya came from Mika. Yes, and they admitted it. Okay, okay. So, okay, so it came from Mika, right? So let's, let's establish that. We're establishing that. Right. First things first is you never said it directly to, to Maya to her face. So that's what you're saying right now, right? I never called Maya a B or F this ever to her face. To her face. I would, I would never do that. I would okay, that's cool, that's cool. I, and I and I and I, I know you didn't say that because the, the clip doesn't show that the clip doesn't she, she doesn't the clip doesn't say that she called her B to her face we know that already so you're filling the blanks I get it so you're saying that okay the the blanks is a part is that Mika's the one that filling that information now right. in the clip though on the show right the confessional right. you are actually saying that you because 
what we're, what we're now debating is now what we're because what you're establishing for i want everyone to understand this because i don't want people to miss it right we're establishing two things here because i want to make it very clear what we're establishing the very f first thing you're establishing is you didn't say the b word to her directly okay right. all right. right that was mika who said that information and got past her okay great number two what we need to establish was did you call her the b word behind her back that's what we not. need to establish i did not i did not I so not. you okay wait 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 so you didn't call her the b word behind her back what not did you say instance. then no no absolutely not so what, what so what was you doing in the confessional when they asked you about you saying the b word about maya so we all know and i know you're gonna say oh blame it on editing but editing is real aries you you should be the most sympathetic about this whole situation You've been through the show. You know how they mix things up. I laughed because this dude was on the couch and he moved and it sounded like he farted. And I thought they were going to make it like I did that. And then they asked me that question and I said, because I did, according to Mika. They cut the according to Mika part out. And then you hear me jump right in when I said, I said, as this situation, if you just open your ears and listen, you can hear how the clip is chopped up. You can hear how it's chopped up. I said, I did, according to Mika. All that taught me is learn better sentence structure. I should have said, according to Mika, I did. That's all that taught me. I shouldn't have left any room for them to be able to cut anything out. I said, I did, according to Mika. Mika, even in the chat, said he probably don't remember because he was drunk. That's what she always tries to make. She's trying to make me seem like some drunk. She, we're going to get into that. Let's, I said, we'll get into that later. I said, I did according to Mika. That's what I said in, the, in my confessional, which was built two weeks later. And I was there. They called me in at 4 o'clock. I didn't start recording my confessional until about nine, ten o'clock. I'm tired. I'm covering five episodes. It's one o'clock in the morning, damn near. And Vanessa hasn't even gone yet. I never fight. Like, like you guys have to take all that in consideration. You all guys are seeing a finished product that owns our lighthouse. Technically, was it lighthouse? Maybe light heart. Technically, it's showing you. You're seeing a finished product. You're not seeing, and I don't blame y'all for that, right? That's not that's not y'all that's not your problem. But you are seeing manipulation, just like how they showed me on the vacation, where it looks like Tommy came and said men was going to get eliminated, and I said, and then that's when the whole meeting with Will and them happened. That's not what happened. We had that meeting first, and I was trying to protect Mika because she got in an altercation with somebody. And then that's when we found out that men were getting eliminated. And Maya, Mika, all the guys were vouched for that. Editing. Aries is a cast member. She should know how editing works. She should know. I'm pretty sure they did her dirty with the edit. I'm not the first cast member that they did dirty with the edit. Now, I, whilst I hear you, okay, I want to know what is the motivation then for Mika saying that you said she's a B word? And if, saying it to Maya, you, what would be the motivation of that? Opinion? So what did she hear? Are you asking my mm -hmm. personal opinion? Yeah, I'm asking because obviously you're saying to me that Mika, you know, so uh, said that she heard a B-word. I'm don't asking your personal opinion. Why, why, why is it that you feel that Mika ends up telling it's Maya a that... Thing. It's a twofold okay. thing. Number one, I feel like Mika wanted to be the only one to make it to the bridge. And she acts like she, she thought she was going to get a spinoff. So she sabotaged a lot of things. Number two, if you're really asking my personal opinion, I think Mika was jealous about how I treated Maya because she was not getting that same attention from Justin. I think she was jealous of how I pursued Maya, the things I did for Maya, how I felt about Maya that quickly, and she was jealous. She the one who called me the simp. That's why I said in my confessional, I'm not a simp. She called me, she called me a simp. She said I was sprung. She said all these things about me, about how I felt about Maya. All the other women too. They talked about I was in a sunken place. 
They talking about I deserve better. They were telling me she was doing me dirty. I've even showed Maya that proof. Hell, I showed you that proof. Now, did Mika, Mika did not call me a simp. I mean, by the proof that you showed me, yes. But, but okay, but going back now, so what did you say to Mika that Mika decided to take that information to her? What did you say? I did, so I did say, so let me, at first, let me explain the whole night. Let's, let's start this. Okay. Before you get there, no, no, before you get there, I'm gonna let you explain it. Just just what just quickly, what did you say to Mika? I just said, so we get a clear, quick answer. After we went to the next spot, it wasn't directly at the same spot, it wasn't at lava, because I went and I okay. me and Zoe, we had a good time. Then that's when Zoe told us to go to this other spot. I think it was called like Twisted Burger or something. Um I got everybody in and then I was having some drinks and then I was like I was like, man, I'm about to go home. So I walked outside in the parking lot and Mika was just like, what's wrong? Your, your energy is off, da 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 da. And I was just like, you know what, man, I saw what happened, what her and Hope will do. You know, I really don't need this. I was like, man, fuck the situation. Me, I, like, if you know me, everybody know I say I get bitches. Me and Jonathan just had some girls at my crib. I'm about to go back to that situation because that's what it was. That's just the honest truth. And then she's like, no, nah, just calm down, come in. I was like, all right, cool. I went back inside. I chilled for like 2.5. And then I was just like, man, nah. And I left. The only disconnect I thought me and Maya had that night was that I left them without telling. And she knew I was mad. But I didn't okay, know. Okay, before you, before you tell the story, we just wanna, I just want to make this very clear again, okay? So you was you you because I I want to make it very clear I want to understand where you're coming from make it very very clear use the only b word that you use you're saying and I want to make it very clear because when someone else comes and they tell their story they're going they're going to contradict or maybe they're going to say what they're going to say so you're telling me that during a conversation between you and Mika at another at another spot after you finish that club scene I know you're going to explain it but after then that's when you had a, a conversation and then said. Uh, you get B word, you get B, you get, no, not to her, but you said you got, you get, you get, you get bitches, basically. That's what you said. You said, I said you I get, get bitches. Yeah. Me and Jonathan have, me and Jonathan was just with some bitches at my crib. I'm about to go back to that. So you're saying that Mika took that word, ran of it, and then said to, to Maya that you called her a B word. So I'm you're not, saying that basically Mika lied. Is that what you're telling, telling me? I, that, you're not telling me. To be honest, I, I'm not sure what Mika told her because I, did not know this information until I just saw that clip. I didn't even know she thought I called her that. That's but I thought you, I thought you and your, you were saying that you were apologizing because you already dealt with this a year ago. So, uh, so right. how are you not? So how are you not knowing right. to the clip situation that you got called that you called the her a B-word? Because we I thought dealt with was me leaving that next that scene where I was supposed to meet her mom, or and her cousin or her sister was supposed to come. Her mom couldn't make it. Then her cousin and sister was supposed to come. We were waiting outside for two hours. We were in the middle of nowhere. They ended up not coming. And well, <clears throat> the head producer had to come and figure out the situation. He pulled me to the side. He like, man, I know y'all been take you been taking everybody out outside the show. You fucking with my livelihood. You fucking with people's lives. You're doing this. That's not cool. That's not cool. And I was like, all right, bro, my bad, my bad. And then. That's when they changed the game plan. And the reason why I'm laughing during the whole sit down with Maya is because, number number one, we had to film that scene three times. Number two, I didn't even know how they were going to play it because they were trying to make the storyline about me talking to her on the phone. And I and like it just didn't make sense. So I had to keep dancing around certain things. Because it was supposed to be this situation happened over the phone. That's the storyline that they wanted to go with. And it wasn't until the next episode where I was just like, yo, I can't do this because this sounds crazy. If all this happened over the phone, it's going to make me sound crazy. So I'm like, I'm not doing this unless we keep it real and we talk about us hanging outside, outside the process. And that wasn't even our first time hanging outside the process. So, like, that was, to me, it was just BS. It's just BS. Okay, well, listen. I mean, listen. You you opened yourself up now, yeah. Because 
like this is a super panel and you wanted to come and say your piece so that means you've opened yourself up all right i got jay and seaway in the background i'm gonna take a back seat um, wait can i explain with actually no 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 you 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 have to explain to them because they they, they got some questions oh, for you now I'm you, here for you, uh, bro. to, to jay and seaway you know because you opened yourself up if you come Ooh, on a jay. super panel it's a super panel this is not a individual my one this is a super panel you've opened yourself up by coming in they're gonna ask you some questions so you have to you have to accept that fine uh, you can't talk anymore yeah, I've let you. We've done, we've done ten minutes. Right, you you opened yourself up to it. So, they go on. so you, I'll let you explain. I'll still let you have your talk, but um, they're going to ask you questions. And they're going to be respectful because they're respectful panelists. But you have to be ready to for the questions no, that come because you decide to come on the super panel at all. But I'll, it's your house. So they'll I'll be they'll be respectful. I'll you be respectful it. too. If they're not being respectful, I'll let them know. But don't worry, everyone gonna be respectful. So you you gotta be ready to ask some questions, bro, because you decide to come up in there and you want to clear some things. They're gonna ask you some questions. Let's do it. You ready? Yes, sir. Fantastic. Before I get to that stage, listen, those of you in the audience, we have 445 people of you in the audience. If you haven't liked the live, please like it already because you know what? This is the kind of great content we always produce for you guys as well. It's sure to be a great show uh, going forward. And for the audience members, if you're not a member already, what are you doing? We have over 600 members. Why are you not a member already? The link is in the chat. It's pinned up. Get yourself a membership. It's a pound, a dollar. I made it cheap so you don't have to suffer. Okay, all right? Now, I would say it costs as much as a coffee, but it don't even cost that. So grab yourself a membership get on board and make sure you're part of the conversation today okay today all right we appreciate you I already got one of the members too. listen that gifted shout out to you thank you so much for joining the membership i hope you're enjoying the show um and the rest of y'all listen it's about to get tasty from here on out i got seaway and jay in the background and i'm sure they got questions for Laron as well all right let's get this show a pop 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 in uh all right cool listen i would have played it but i think it gets copyrighted in the music so um <laughs> there's no copyright on that music or whatever oh is it not oh okay i didn't know that okay the next time i got your intro you with that then listen seaway jay listen i'm taking a back seat because I know you guys got questions for Laron. You want to ask me a question, please, one at a time. Please just keep it respectful. I don't want him to, to, to <laughs> blow a gasket. I don't want you guys to blow a gasket. You know what I'm saying? I want everyone to have a good time. But we please, we ask me questions. When were we disrespectful? I don't know. But listen, that's, 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 I love ask, ask, ask your questions to, that you wanted to ask. I want him to keep explaining. He can speak. No, I'm, let's focus on the present. Let's focus on the present. Cause I was lost by the past. I was. I'm really confused by the whole story. That's okay. I'm still confused. So, so see, wait. I'll let you go first. I'll let you go first. Talk to me. What's the question you want to ask, Ron? And let him. Let let's see what he wants to say. Go for it. I mean, I I was really I really couldn't follow his story to even ask him a question. I so Jay can go ahead. I want to make sure I understand the story. I was actually listening intently to understand, and I I I was lost. So. Jay. Fair enough. So focusing on the present and present time, you have put a tweet up that continues to refer to women as the B word, which also doubles down in grouping Maya into that category once again. If you do, do you realize no, do you realize how that groups her into the category? Because no, when you no. refer, when you sit there and say, whether you said allegedly you said, I got bitches at home, when you say that. That refers to she's one of the bitches that you got that's not at home. Okay, I can see your point. So when you go with the tweets again, therefore putting the same word back in there, not just the tweets, but then the IG post of the song, Me and My Bitch, which Jay-Z says up in the thing, you again are confirming your double down on calling her this, and you think that is going to help your situation? No, the, the song was song cry. It was more focused on the hook. Can't control the timing of the song. Yeah, you can't. It was just basically you actually can't the control the timing of the song. I well, I don't know how to do it. I'm not. I'm not really on like that. You see, I maybe since the show, I haven't posted in like three years before the show. Um, the song was basically, it's just like what Jay Z said. You're not gonna see no tears coming down my eyes. So I'm gonna let the song cry. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna get what I need to say out, and we're gonna go from there. It had nothing to do with. I wouldn't. I would. I was just on your panel a couple of weeks ago telling you how much I admire this woman. Why would I call her a, like that? It's, it's, I don't it's, I don't view her the same way as like y'all do. Like, I just don't like I know y'all think she's fine as hell and she's too bad to be with me. But I don't view Maya like that. 
the reason why I like Maya is totally, completely, it's totally different from a view. So, like, I don't view her the same way. So maybe that may have came across to you, but that wasn't my intent at all. What, it, what comes across to me is not really that much, but I'm saying how it comes across to other people. What comes across to me is that you're leading with your ego, because that song is an ego pride song that I can't even cry for you, that I got, I got to let the song cry or whatever, stuff like that, that I'm not going to shed a tear because my ego won't let me. That's what that song says, actually. And so yeah. when you're trying to get your woman back, your lady back, or get back on her good side, your ego should never be in play. Why? Her is this? Hers is for a reason. Hers is for yeah. protection or whatever. Yours is to be sitting there because you have violated her. I didn't violate her though. That's the crazy part. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Like, just imagine you in a courtroom and people are saying, yo, you did that shit. You did it. And you know you didn't do it. So why is she saying that you did that? Why is she saying that? Who? Mika? Why Maya? is Maya saying? Because she got that information from Mika. Who you're saying is trying to sabotage you guys' relationship. I said that's my personal opinion. I'm, not, opinion. I'm not saying that's what it is, but if you if, if you ask for my personal opinion, absolutely. So Maya never heard those words from you. It was all oh. hearsay from Mika. That's what you're saying? Yes. And we, I don't know what they're going to show in the next episode, but we addressed that. We address that. Now, Own has this way of trying to paint me to be this villain, which I'll take that, right? So I don't know what they're going to show because I have, I didn't even watch the last episode, but there's two clips that they, they made one a digital exclusive clip, which Kojo showed in the beginning. And that's before me, me and Maya actually started. I won't say dating because she said she never dated me in her life, which, okay. Um, before we started hanging out outside the process. And then between that first date and that clip that y'all saw in the episode, we hung, we hung out, I think maybe two or three times from there. And then there's another clip, which I'm not sure if they're going to, well, we got our social assets. So they showed the pictures, but I'm not sure if it's going to be in the next episode or not. So I don't know. But so, there's information missing. So why in the confessional did you admit to calling her B in the confessional? Again, I, was, I don't know if you were here when Kojo was. No, I, I, I missed that. Me. So there's two things that play there. The reason I'm laughing is because there was a guy sitting on a leather chair and we got up and made a fart noise. And I'm we're laughing because I'm like, yo, don't make it seem like I did that. Number one. Number two, I said because I did according to Mika, according to Mika, but they cut that part out. All that taught me is to learn better sentence structure. I should have said because of Mika, that's why Maya thinks that. And then honestly, because of the fart thing, I thought it was a blooper. They asked me the question a second time and I gave them a completely different answer. But you were concerned about looking like a simp though. That part because wasn't- Mika kept calling me a simp. She kept she kept calling me a simp. Another cast member said I was in a sunken, sunken place. Other cast members telling me that Maya is playing me. Other cast like, yes, this was filmed. My confessional was filmed two weeks later, after a lot of things have transpired. And Kojo, did I not show you a text message where Mika called me a simp because of things that I was trying to do for Maya and things like the way the. Okay, I do admit, I did feel, I fell for Maya pretty quickly, right? I'll take that. So the things that I was trying to do for Maya, the way I was expressing myself to Maya, and the way I was going about it, a lot of the cast members kept even calling me a simp, saying she was playing me, saying I was in a sunken place, saying I was sprung. They were all saying that. And I felt a lot of that came from that night when she, we were out, and those other cast members was there, and they saw her interacting with that other dude. Were you concerned about being a simp end. for Koshia as well? Because you mentioned that with Koshia, you didn't want to be a simp. Did I? I believe I so. I, did. I didn't really. Okay. I don't okay. Let's, let's, let's take a breath for a second. Let me do this. Let me talk to you like a friend. Okay. Besides all of that, Besides all of that, 
instead of doubling down with the post that you made, wouldn't it been easier just to sit there and say, hey, I know it looks like what I said was blah, 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 but that was never my intent. And however you took that, I apologize for it. I've, I've apologized this woman. But, 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 you, but see, the oh, yeah. thing is, the, pop, the apology is not public. This is being public. So the, instead of the tweet that you put out, I'm right. saying, and I'm, and I'm trying to talk to you like as I would talk to one of my friends for real, for real. The tweet that you put out looks even worse because yeah, now it does. it does is you standing on that business that you said before. Yeah. Instead of standing on that business, stand on the business of the apology that you gave her and said, don't let this, we had this conversation. I've apologized to you once before. I never intended when I said to her, to meet her, meaning Mika, that I got bitches or whatever, I was classifying you in that category. I didn't even think of it that way until you brought it up. I didn't think that I was classifying her in that way, but I, I do see a point where you said that also includes her. I wasn't thinking that way at the time. So that's what I'm saying. It's just like, would you be open to giving her that apology, though? Yeah. I'm, it's not a lot of things I'm not willing to do for my, let's just put it there. I was, I've always swallowed my pride for her. I've always Can we give her. him that space? Can we give him that space to make that apology, Kojo? It was a, it was a public thing. You put it on public thing. We, we give you that space to make that apology for her. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna put me on the spot right now? Can, all right, can, can I do it a, a, a little bit later where it'll be a little more sincere? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Aries has a super chat, has a question. It says, for clarity, didn't you say, first of all, it's Aries, shout out to Aries. Uh, for clarity, didn't you say you didn't know Maya thought you called her a B until it aired? Did this come up at the reunion? She's asking. No. It didn't. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Like, it didn't. It didn't. And that's, that's, I'm literally as shocked as everybody else. I'm literally like as shocked as everybody else. It did not. So when did this whole issue come up? After it's aired? Right now? Is it this yes. big issue? Yes. So up until this point, up until this point, how have you and Maya's relationship been up until this point? Well, according to her, there's no relationship, right? Right. So let's 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 make that clear, because I don't want her to call me a liar. But um, we 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 we've hung out a couple times. Um, I've made significant changes in my life for Maya. Uh, a lot of women were always talking about how I always had women on my stories. Women over my house, always post the nails, always out on like that. I stopped doing that besides, you know, my vacation that just passed. Um, I stopped drinking a lot. I don't even go out Wednesday through Sunday anymore. I probably go out maybe twice a month. Um, I moved from my area because my area was a party area. I moved it. I, I don't know if y'all can tell from my last interview, but I'm in a new spot. Um, I started going to therapy uh, to manage my anger. Um, what else? And I'm not saying this was all necessarily for Maya, right? This is that would be selfish to put that on her, right? Um, respect that. It, it it is for the betterment of myself. I I've always wanted to stop partying, like I said on the first episode, but I felt like I was trapped. So I said, why not try to make those changes now? So can I want to I want to talk about what you just said. I just have one quick question. I'm going to forget. Why did Maya's mother not come? Was that a legitimate reason, or was it because she was upset about what she thought she heard? Because you're saying that this is not this is only coming up now. So two things could be true at once. From my understanding, because what Maya has told me, she said that her mother couldn't come. And then she tried to get, it was either her sister or her cousin. It was one of those two. And we were waiting for like two hours. Her sister kept saying that she, her sister or cousin, I would probably use those interchangeably, but she kept saying her sister or cousin was coming. And that's what we were waiting for. And then Anthony had, oh, 
shit. <clears throat> the head producer had to show up and we had to figure it out. And that's when he had that talk with me saying that I was fucking up people's lives. I was fucking up people's livelihoods. He got upset that I was taking people out, which I did. The second time we went out and everybody showed up, I did not invite everybody. It was literally just a mean ass coincidence. I did not know Zoe was going to be there. I did not know Mika or Rashid. Well, I think I knew Mika was going to be there. Because me and Mika was like best friends at the time. I, which I, Well, at least I thought. Um, and then I did not know Rashina was going to be there. So he was putting that blame on me. And I think that's when it clicked in their mind that they were going to fuck me over and downplay my storyline. They didn't even show after the lounge. Maya couldn't even make it to a date because she had to work and they knew that but they still made me drive to a date to make it seem like she ghost me that's the kind of games they play that's the kind of games they play they knew she wasn't going to show up made it seem like she ghost me made me send her a message that pissed her off even more and then and then called me after i left that date and told me do not call Maya. Do not text her. I know you're going to do that New Jersey shit. Do not call her. Do not text her. They were literally setting me up to fail because they thought I violated their policy. So they wanted to rewrite my story, I guess. I guess it, this is the this is what's like kind of confusing, right? And I, I'm, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. I like to give everyone glass half full, not half empty, what most people would know about me. But the confusing part is, is that we know that you you said something that Maya was aware about, right? Or heard from Mika because she mentions it in the ladies lounge and then they proceed. They ask you about it two weeks later or whatever. So it was relevant at that time. What's not making sense is two things. If Mika was your homegirl, why is she trying to snake you? Right. I'm not saying she's not. No. I'm not saying she's not. But that just seems weird. And it's two, very weird. Two, if Maya mentioned it at, during that time, right, in the present, in that time, she mentioned it. I'm not saying she mentioned it to you, but she mentioned it at the ladies' lounge, and you were asked about it in your confessional at some point. Why were y'all cruising for the last eight months, and this is only an issue now? Like, I don't you know. For us, we don't understand that. I don't understand either. That's the crazy part. That's a question for Maya, get, too. We should get some clarity on that because I think I, that's the reason why people are thinking either you're a liar or she's not saying something. Because if you were in our shoes, that story doesn't make any sense. It like doesn't if, make sense to me either. And the crazy thing is, before that episode aired, the week before, I texted her and I said, Remember the good times. Before they show us beefing, remember the good times. And she said, it's just a TV show. And that's what I'm like, okay, bet. And we talked after that. I did not, I don't understand why she's on this tirade against me right now. I swear to God, I don't know why. I don't know why. And I even said it. I said, why are you going out your way to try to disrespect me now? And she said we were way past that. We were way past that. She said I should have, even though she knew I didn't say she was a B, I should have just, instead of bringing other cast members in to defend me in the comments, because that's what happened, she said I should have just manned up, took accountability, and moved on like a man. Which, later I did. I, like, it's, I shouldn't have said, I, I, I shouldn't have said the whole, I got Bs, da 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 especially because I really did care about Maya. It was my ego, right? It was my ego. And me and her talked about that numerous of times where my ego got in my way. So I apologize. I don't, I won't say I don't want to lose her because obviously she's never with mine, right? She said she never dated me. She never liked me. Da, 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 da. I don't want her to not be in my life. So I apologize because I care about her more than I care about anybody's public perception of me. Can I? Uh, okay, so one or two things. One, I'm gonna say you should have probably peeped the way she left William alone when 
the shit came out about him in that moment. So you should have known that was probably one of your fates coming up anyway. Two, yeah. two, let's put this scenario out here. Me and you go out, see way out there with us, right? You get mad at me, you go out and talk to Seaway. Seaway is our mutual friend. Because right. mind you, you guys are all coming into this situation. So you guys are pretty much all neutral, mutual. You start telling Seaway, man, F this shit. This, I got bitches, this, that, and that. I got to ask Seaway. Seaway, what happened? Seaway replies to me. He said, F this. I got bitches that whatever and stuff like that. You're not necessarily calling me a bitch. But what I'm going to be mad at is the whole conversation that you're actually having and not necessarily with Seaway. But you're actually grouping, you know, like you got some other shit. I'm not nothing or whatever and stuff like that, that you're going to leave the situation. It is not Seaway's fault that she's in the caught in the middle because one, you divulge the information to Seaway and I asked right. her what happened. Right. She's being a friend to us both. But, but, so then I, I understand your point, but me and Mika's situation, she has called me and vented to me about her connection numerous of times. Numerous of times, and I never said anything. That's why me and Mika was so close. Like, I know y'all said, why are they on a date together? They don't have a connection. And she said in the confessional, we'd be talking every day. We, we had a connection. It just wasn't a love connection. We had a very tight friendship. I felt like Mika was the only other person on the show that I can trust. Because she, she visited me about her frustrations and things that's going on with her connection. I thought it was safe for me to do the same. So I get your point where you're saying Seaway is our mutual connection, but so is one of her other connections, right? Which I'm, we can all assume who it is. Yeah, okay, so with that same, with that same logic, has, has Justin ever came up to you and asked what Mika said about him? Once, and that was technically supposed to be on that episode, but it didn't make it, and I didn't say anything. I've never divulged any information that Mika ever told to me about how, how things were going, the things that were going bad, the things that were going good, any of that. I felt like, okay, you can trust me with your secrets. I can trust you with mine. I was literally, like, she's called me yelling, talking about da 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 And I never once decided to text Justin and say, yo, Mika's tripping. She said X, Y, Z, da, 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 da. So she's done that at least five to ten times before I did that one thing to her. So I'm thinking, okay, if I trusted these amount of secrets from her, I mean, I trusted these amount of secrets for her, she, I should be able to trust her with one of mine. That's the when only caveat. When did y'all when did y'all actually fall out? You and Mika? We fell out right before the reunion we only fell out because i had to pick a, ch a side between the men and the women and i picked the men i was very upset that i could not spend the reunion with them. i was more so upset i couldn't spend a reunion with mika than maya me and mika i thought was like i literally i thought i could give mika my social security number like that's how much i trusted her okay me and Mika, and then honestly, Mika did tell me that she told she told Maya something. She didn't tell me what she told her, and she said what you did wasn't right, and I accepted it. I said okay, and she she told me that, and I was like okay, and I forgave even though you know I mean it was I guess it's technically nothing to forgive, but I forgave Mika because I felt like that one minor hiccup shouldn't ruin our whole friendship. And she did what she thought was in the best interest of Maya, which I can respect. But I did not know the context of what she told Maya. That's what the issue is. Oh, it, it, so it sounds like there's a few things, right? I'm echo. One, I, I want to go back to what you said before. I commend you on the work that you've done. It takes a lot to be on TV and to, you know, look at yourself and try to evaluate some of the issues. I know some of the negative things that you probably said Jay and I said or I said is related to stuff that it sounds like you're trying to fix the drinking. Um, it sounds like you have trust and discernment issues um, because a lot of this that I'm hearing is a lot of trust that just really shouldn't be there. 
Yes. Yes. I, I don't. Yes. It yes. sounds like I don't want to speak for Maya. Maya seems like a beautiful lady, but it sounds like she's not doing well with the public backlash that she's. That's receiving. what it is. That's what it is. And, and so she doesn't want to really deal with you, which, which you're going to have to respect. But it sounds like you did something drunk. You were saying stuff to Mika. You shouldn't have been saying it. But also, you had a lot of trust in Mika that you shouldn't have had. So yeah. from here, all I can say is it sounds like you need better discernment. Stop the drinking. Because you were drinking when you cussed out Koshia, which was very ugly. You were drinking yeah. when you when you said all these bees and whatever. I get bees about um, Maya. And I think a lot of women are very triggered by men who get drunk and start doing the stuff that you're doing. So you're going to get some backlash because we've all experienced it and we don't like it, you know? So I'm really happy that you're working on that because it seems like when you're sober, outside of you talking in a little bit of circles, because I understand you now, but it was hard at first. You seem like you're a fine person. It doesn't seem like there's nothing too wrong with you, but the drinking and lashing out is not good. And I do yeah. want to address. When I said, and I, I said this before about the outer league situation, it seems like you're going for a very spectacular, at least on paper, women, but then you don't seem comfortable in that space. My ex girlfriend looked better than Maya. It's not about looks, it's not just about <laughs> like, looks. It, there's no, there's no women I think is out my league. Listen, I've dated doctors, I don't look at just People's look. I, I know, Lauren, you may not think it in the front of your brain, but it looks like it's coming across somewhere in the back. That's what I'm saying. Not you're going all. for the top notch. I commend you for that. Yeah. But if you're going for top notch chicks, you can't be doing some of the stuff that you're doing because then it looks like you're insecure in that space. Because if you're dating doctors, people who allegedly look better than Maya, all the things, those type of women get attention on a daily basis. It's about People how you're going to call you simps because they're hating on you because they maybe they don't want you to have this amazing girl, right? And I think that's what it was. So now you know if somebody calls you a simp again because you bagged a 10, then you got to be comfortable. I'm a simp. What's up? That that really is your response. Who cares what they think? Yeah, that's what we talked about. That's what we talked about. We talked about that. We talked about that. Well, Sean's got some questions for you. I know you, and I know you got to explain your situation with the club, but let Sean ask those questions, and then you can explain the club scene fully, so we understand where you're coming from. Thank you, Laurent, for this. We appreciate you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I guess I'm not going to get into the weeds of who said what. Um, you know, more of my questions are around what you learned from all of this, and like, if you could look back, what would you do differently, knowing what you know now? Well, what I learned about this is stop putting your trust in people that you don't really know. Uh, um, another thing is sentence structure. Uh, another thing is don't be cheap, right? The whole situation started because I was trying to be cheap. Um, what else? Obviously, I should think things through more before you know, just saying it. And again, like stop thinking of my downfall towards the end is because I think I was thinking of other people's opinion. And I let that take control of me. I start hearing the rumors. I start hearing other people's opinions and I let it get the best of me. I just never dated anybody publicly before. I keep a very private relationship. So this was the first time it was I was dating people somebody publicly and i let it get to i let it get the best of me i did um i know better now um yeah that's pretty uh, yeah and then again of course like you know I, I cut back on the drinking i started going to therapy i just started removing myself out of situations where i, I where i saw it was leading to a life that I didn't want to live. One of the biggest things that woke me up, I swear to God, I was at um this 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 lounge called uh I think Epic or something like that. And it was this old ass man in there with his suit and top hat on, and he was just drunk trying to dance with all the young girls, and I was just like, 
if I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm gonna end up like that dude. So that was like, you know, I just want to change the trajectory because I like, like I expressed to her before I was 31 on the show. I felt like I should have had kids already. Like the way I lived my life and I built my life, I built it to be designed around me being a husband, a father, having kids, having, having a house. And just that's the way I built my life. And because of COVID, I kind of just got off track because I was locked down too much. And then when I was able to get back outside, I just started partying too much. So I just had to remove myself from those situations. I'm no longer in a party town. I'm out in the cut and I'm just, you know, trying to trying to work on things. So if we can, let's just go back a little bit to your lesson, because if I'm hearing it, when you said your lesson was to be conscious of who you who you trust, right, which I can totally understand that because that's something everybody needs to work on. But really just root causing it, which was the main thing that triggered the situation was Maya talking to another guy and that upset you. So in that moment, if you could recreate that, if you you was out together, whether it's Maya or another girl, how would you handle that? scenario well to be honest so i said i in the in the in the in the video i guess in the confessional i did say that she was hooked up getting some dude's number i don't know if that's even true i did start talking to that dude and i i just i did get mad right and i think it's only because i did get mad I did get mad. I don't, I'm not sure if she was getting that dude's number or not, but at the time, that's what I thought. That was my perception, right? And I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have automatically assumed, right? I should have played it a little bit more cool. But again, I was, I was teed up. Like I was super teed up. We was at another spot. We were taking a bunch of shots and then we got to the next spot. Well, yeah, we were taking a bunch of shots at the first spot, but I didn't say anything to Mika until we got to the next spot. That's because I had a few more drinks because um, we just wanted to keep the party going. So, um, but yeah, I should have I should have played it more cool, and I should just trust her, right? Like one thing one of my one of the chicks I used to mess with told me after the show is that love isn't possessive, right? You can't see a flower, and because you like the flower, pick it. Cause it'll die. You just have to let it like let it flourish. I gotta let her do her because she is fine as hell. Fine. I actually retract one of my statements earlier. My ex, one of my exes, is not fine as Maya. Maya is the finest woman in the world. So I just gotta let her do her. Right? It is going to be a lot of dudes that are going to try to hit on her and stuff. But I think one of the things I was trying to get across to her because I thought she was new to Dallas. From my understanding, she only been here for six months. But I, I well, at the time, she only been here for six months. But I guess she's been in Houston. I thought she came straight from Mississippi. So I thought she was green. A lot of dudes here in Dallas will try to talk to your chick on purpose. They will do that just to see, like, oh, you with that dude? And you, I still, like, they'll even go back to their friends and brag. be like, yo, yeah, you see that girl over there with her dude? Yeah, I just got her number while he was in the bathroom. Da 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 da. Like, a lot of dudes in Dallas are like that. A lot of dudes in Dallas front, like, they just are like that. So I was trying to protect her because I thought she was a little bit green, which was the wrong thing to do, right? If I can admit that. I See? Like, oh, wait, wait, Laron, Laron. See, I think that's where you go off course because you cursed in reference to other women and yeah, you were talking I about... You, I used to be but, that dude. Right, I but I used to I think, but just hold on one second. Let me finish. I think the problem is, is like I was understanding your train of thought until you started to say you were trying to protect her. That doesn't look like protection if you are telling her friend what other ticks you can get. You know, where's the protection for Maya and you going off like that? I can admit that I was wrong. Like. It was my train of thought at the time. At the time, I can admit that I was wrong. I'm not a robot, right? Like, I don't 
compute things perfectly. I make mistakes. I know I know the whole situation overall. I was wrong. And that's why I apologize to her numerous times. I know the overall situation. I was wrong. I'm not taking that away from that. I'm just taking what was said that that's wrong. But in the overall how the situation played out, yes, I was wrong. I was wrong because, again, Maya is not somebody that I want to lose, whether that's a friendship or whatever. That's not somebody I do not want in my life. I want her in my life for as long as I can. So I understand you say I'm a big protector. I'm an oldest child or whatever and stuff like that. I'm big on protection. But when I protect, I don't come at the people I'm protecting, especially if those people are survivors of DV and the, what the case is and stuff. And that was the wrong thing that you did I, in that, that I moment. Didn't even know that. The best protection that you should have did it was intervene and say, hey, how you doing? My name is. Right. You know what I'm saying? That would have been a better form of protection to let her let the dude know, hey, she is here with somebody. Right. I you agree with that. And like Sean, Sean even tell you, like, Sean is not our dude, but when we out and dudes is all in our face, Sean comes up. Hey, how you doing? Y'all good? Everything good? That's yeah. what protection looks like for us. Well, and that's well, the type of protection we need. <laughs> Especially when some people were hiding in the bushes. <laughs> folks were hiding in the bushes. <laughs> in Texas, no less. Texas take another Sign in the water. <laughs> sorry, we, <laughs> sorry, Laura. But I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm like, you know, forward. going forward, going forward, you got to be mindful. A lot of us women do go through altercations with people in our lives that have us in situations. And the last thing you want to do is put her in a predicament feeling like this is what it's going to lead to, because that what you did is the first setup that generally happens for a person that end up in DV because they like to disguise it as protection. I'm protecting you, but who are you protecting me from yourself? Because when I start, you start protecting me, then you start, you be the one who start putting hands on me to keep me inside saying I'm protecting you from everybody else out there. Mm. You know I what I'm point. So, so especially when you're handling with a, a handling a woman who has come from that, that's a red flag for her. Yeah. I, so I never knew about the DV thing until right. the reunion. And I can understand where you're coming from. Me personally, I've never been in like a DV situation. I won't say I don't know anybody who has because probably people have and, and not, you know, shared it with me. So all that is new to me, but I, I do understand your point. You have siblings? Yeah, I got three sisters and three brothers. Older or younger? My brothers are all older than me and my sisters are all younger than me. So would you cuss your little sister out if some guy was in her face or you would cuss the guy out? I would definitely cuss the guy out. Well, no, it depends because like, it de I wouldn't like, I would just be like, yo, like, yo. Cause sometimes women can put themselves in situations where they like, that can be dangerous. And I, I'll tell her like to chill, but like, I wouldn't, I would more than like to confront You know what, let me not say cuss out because you didn't actually cuss out anybody at that time. But let me say, would you interfere, intervene like your sister's in a thing and a guy is all up in her face? Would you walk up to that oh, guy? No, like, hey. no, no, yeah, I'll definitely confront the guy, easily. Easy. But see, that 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 protection is the same protection that we want from our man that you treat us like our you we are sister you know you're we're the sister with benefits of course but like you treat us like the sister the mother that you have and stuff like that that's the kind of when we say protection that's what we look for as a woman you protect us like we are one of your family members right no and I so can understand that and Maya is from the south and I do have to I did realize, especially with her, that I do have to be a little bit more gentle. Even though I've been down here in Dallas for three years now, my girlfriend that I dated down here was from New York. So they are a little bit more rough. And that's what I explained to her in that scene too. But um, I did realize, like like she said, I she's from Mississippi, she's a country girl. I do have to be a little more gentler with her. And I, I understand that. I do understand that. I do understand that. I mean, even even you even you saying when you were trying to defend yourself that your last girl was 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 way better than Maya. I know you just took it back. 
but that's the type of like lack of emotional regulation like that. Like you got to con- like, like you can't say that and then talk about I want Maya. I got to give Maya back. I just want me some. Maya. How does how does that work, sir? Because man, I got a crazy platform. ego. There's and 80, like, there's 80K. No. Kojo has 80K subscribers. I don't know how many people are watching, but there's a lot of people watching. Now, hey, what if she's supposed to get she's never gonna give you a chance after what you just said? You that's racking a, up the L's. Yeah. A lot. I guess that's the game, right? It's the ego. I mean, that's why Jay was talking about the ego. That ego. Is the same thing that made you say you're not a simp. It's the same reason that made you say that you your last girl was better than Maya. It's the ego. So I think, you know, when you're trying to work on things, maybe dig it into that. And I know a lot of men have egos. We all have egos, right? But I think yours gets bruised pretty quick and it makes you quickly respond. And then you think about it and you're like, shoot, I didn't have to say that. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. But at that point, it's too late. No, so, right. Good point. Good point. Uh, so, Laurent, tell us, give us the play by play this night because, you know, I, I know we've been asking a lot of questions. So, give us the play by play from your perspective, play by play. I have to preface it with the date before. Okay. Because you that go it. You the sets the tone. So, as y'all saw in that exclusive clip, I explained to Maya that I can be a little bit territorial. Da 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 da. Boom. So, that was actually where I was able to, I guess, get her to agree that um, she, because I'm like, yo, I don't need this process. Like, they keep setting us up on these corny ass dates. I don't want to do this. So from there, I got her to agree to go out on a date with me outside the show. It was either before or after our date, she saw one of my canvases on my wall, which is like a friend wall, a uh, friend canvas. And it is a bunch of women. She told me specifically that she don't like dudes who have a lot of women in their face because that's a red flag. She don't like a friendly nigga. So to me, I'm like, okay, you're setting the tone. That's what kind of time we on. Boom. The next day, I was supposed to take her to some restaurant. I think it was either Carbone or something. And I'm like, damn, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to spend all this bread. You feel me? So I'm like, let's go to lava. Cause the, I think Carbone the plate would have been like, it would have been pretty hefty. So I'm like, let's go to lava. I saw the menu, tacos, three dollars, four dollars. I'm like, boom, let's do that. We get to lava. I didn't know a singer was there, so I had to pay for both of us to get in. Then all of a sudden, I think I may have told Mika to roll up, or maybe Maya did. I don't know. Mika and Rashina came, pay for them to get in. Now I'm buying drinks. Then my boy Zo show up. He was already in there somewhere dancing. Boom. We walking around. We having a good time. Boom. I got to hit the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. I can't find them for 10 minutes. I can't find them for 10 minutes. So me searching them for them in 10 minutes from a distance, I'm just seeing a dude close up on Maya and she got her phone out and they talking da 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 da. So yeah, in my mind, I thought she was hugged up on him. And he was getting a number. I could be wrong, right? I'm not saying that I'm correct in that situation. I'm like, okay, bet. If that's what kind of time we on, that's what kind of time we on. Me and Zoe, we go out on the dance floor. We having a good time. I didn't just storm off and act all crazy. We having a good time. We having such a good time. We like, boom, lava's closing, closing down. Let's head to the next spot. Twisted Burger or something like that. So boom, we all meet up at the next spot. Get a section, everybody get in, boom. And then I'm like, after a couple more shots, the shit just started replaying in my mind. And I'm just like, hey, yo, like, wait a minute. That just really happened. So I went outside. I walked around the first time. I cooled down, boom, came back in. And then I don't know what happened, but I was just like, man, I got to go home. Oh, it was this girl at the bar that was flirting with me. Super ugly, trying to feed me nachos and shit. Super ugly, so I go outside to leave, and then Mika was, she came outside and met me, and she was saying something, and I was, she was like, oh, you mad because she was talking to that dude or something, and I was just like, nah, I mean, I, I said, fuck this situation, I don't need this shit. I, 
da 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 everything I said before. And then she was like, just calm down, come inside, boom. I came back inside, everybody's still in the section, they chilling, having a good time. I took like two more shots and I realized like, okay, I need to go home because like, I'm way too, I'm way too teed up right now. And I don't want, to be honest, my main concern was really about throwing up. I don't want to throw up in front of everybody. So I go home. And then I was mad. I was mad. I did call one of the producers. And I was just like, man, I, you know, I said the same thing pretty much I said to Mika. And then from my understanding, the next day we, we had a date at 8 a.m. And that's when my and them, da, 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 was there. And from what we talked about, she was just like, well, you left me there. You didn't even check to see if I made it home, da, 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 da. And I was like, I apologize. I apologize, and I thought that was the issue. That's what I thought was the issue. I like that's what I thought was the issue. Hold on, because I talk some bullshit. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. I think you need to address this, sir. Right, right. I said I was leaving, and then I told she was just like you. From my recollection, you said, is it because she was talking to that dude? And I was just like, nah, this, I don't need that. Da, da, da. And I did not invite y'all out. I may have invited you out, but I didn't invite Rashina out. And I definitely didn't invite Zoe out. Like, I didn't invite y'all out. Like, to me, that was supposed to be a date night between me and Maya. That's what I thought it was going to be. But according to her, it wasn't a date. It was just everybody hanging out. I'll accept that. I'll accept that for what that was. I have the text message. What are you talking about? That's literally what you said to me. You can free to you can feel free to hop on and we can have this conversation. She can't hop on because she needs this protocol here. She has to do an interview first. But okay. um, you know, if you if you listen, I, I will say if the person's here to back themselves, you said there's a text. No, I I I I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm just saying, listen, as long as you're here, you can back yourself. You can no, nah, I'd rather just take the L on that one, to be honest. Okay, take the L then. No problem at all. I just wanted to say I, I offered you the opportunity because I did it for Will. If you're here, you have to back yourself. No, nah, I, I don't. I Again, her perception and our relationship, our situation, wherever it was, is more important than your perception. So... I don't feel what, I, I, I'm sorry, I missed the missed the part where what actually had you teed off because you said he was teed off. What actually well, teed had up, you teed up? That means I was drunk. I, oh, teed up. Okay, so yeah. you wasn't mad though. You was just no. you was just drunk. Yeah. But what made you okay? If he wasn't mad, then what made you lead you to say f this? Because I think she asked me. She asked me, was I mad about the, the that dude? And I was just like, man. And it was it wasn't really like to me like to be honest when I'm with my friends they even said I do cuss I curse a lot and it wasn't like you know what I mean it was just like man fuck this you know what I mean I don't I don't need this shit you know what I mean it wasn't like man fuck this I don't need this shit I get what you're saying like drunk talk you know when we talk, we talk when we drunk like man have this whatever 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 I'm I know like, man, like this. It's not sometimes about what you say, it's about how you say it. Like, it wasn't, I don't know. So you're saying you wasn't, you wasn't, you wasn't angry at all? Oh, I was upset, but I wasn't upset, like, okay. yeah. I, I, you I, wasn't I, belligerent. I, I get you. Uh, okay, that, but that's going back to my question. What was you upset about, though? I was upset because I, I thought she was hooked up with that dude and getting his number. That but, was my perception because I was from a far away. I wasn't directly... The, the dude never came up to me. I wasn't by them. I saw right. them from a distance. So this is where my confusion is on the upset part because the upset seemed to last so long because you yeah, said it was, yeah, it was it was and then you guys went to the next spot or whatever and you guys continued to have fun or whatever and this is where the conversation took place. So you was upset this whole time? or No, I wasn't. It's just when them shots start kicking in, things started like replaying. You started thinking about it again? Yeah. Nah. I can't even be mad for that long. 
Like, I promise you, I get over things usually in a day unless somebody really fucks me over. And then, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what re triggered that for you to oh, able to back to the thoughts or whatever. It was just the shots. It was just the shots. Okay, it's which which time. which Drake which Drake we got to keep you away from? Let me know which kind because we know we got to keep Sean away from Patron. So Patron, what we got <laughs> to keep you away from? No, I'm usually good off the Migos. It's just when like I think I was at like probably like 16, like I was really teed up. Like I usually don't get like that unless I'm really 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 drunk. Like. I don't know. So, so the same drink, the same drink that gets you telling the truth. Remember, because yeah. that's what you said. Tequila, <laughs> tequila makes you tell the truth. Yeah. So basically, your truth was F this. <laughs> I got bitches. Yeah, that was my truth. Like, because like, don't get me wrong, I do adore my ass. Like, I definitely, I definitely. Anyway, I definitely adore my ass, but like I still do got an ego, right? So if I'm thinking she's bagging some dude in front of my face. Well, it wasn't really in front of my face, but like to me, it was just like embarrassment because it was other people there. Yeah, my ego did kick and play. Like I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying it's right. It's just what happened. So, okay. Uh, I mean, I think this situation is quite interesting, right? Because I think. I think if we keep asking you questions, you're probably going to end up telling us the true truth, right? Let me be honest with you, right? So I said in my video with you, I said, listen, I've been in a situation like this and obviously I don't drink, so I'm quite sober, so I know exactly what I did. You know, I, you know, a girl I was talking to, I've had it with ex-girlfriends too, you know what I mean? Like you have a ex, you know, girlfriend, you're in a club, whatever, you see a dude talking to a girl and you get vexed. Now you can get vexed. Some people go towards the guy, some people walk out. I'm a walkout person, Yeah. So I know I'm I know that I'm vexed to a point though that I'm gonna walk out. Now I'm not going to call anybody the B word because that's not my my language at all. But you know, um, there's a suitable amount of anger in that situation, right? Enough for the person to know that it's it's a madness out there. Do you get what I'm saying to you? You feel what I'm saying to you? So um, for me, for, so when you kind of explain the story, you're almost kind of. I'm wondering how you're able to even tell us fully the story when you weren't fully coherent <laughs> like that you remember so many details so I mean, it could be so, I, I dwelled on it for a while that's why i hear that but you were drunk majorly drunk you know what i mean yeah, yeah so true. so you was majorly drunk so out of and i think this is where maybe i think the ladies and, and sean were trying to get you to is get you to a point where you know what if i'm belligerently drunk is there a potential i could have said something stupid here yes so, okay, rather than me just, you know what I mean, getting to a point where you decide, you know what, I was belligerently drunk, I might have said this madness, do you know what I'm saying to you? I apologise, I'm sorry, I should have never got that drunk, I'll make sure I measure my drink next time from now on, blah, 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 and then people kind of leave it alone. But I think because it's got a bit of a memory go around with it, I think also because as well, partly as also as well, I know, and this is from one person, one bro, one bro to another, and I'm telling you from somebody who's also has to has had to deal with insecurity on a major scale i'm telling i know what it does to you right I, c I can tell you for free what it does to you the anger that you have it from that insecurity it it, no it does insecurity. overwhelm huh? no, it, i'm nowhere near insecure see 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 when you start I'm saying no, that I'm nowhere when you start laron when you I, start I saying that, that. I i'm telling you that. i can tell you for sure you do because if you got stressed seeing her talking to another man, then me and you both have that same energy, and I know it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to help you. Because what I want you to do is get to a point of unraveling that wrapper. Because listen, being real about the situation, right, will help you have the healing process even quicker. Because the reality of the situation is, you you didn't assess the situation. You didn't see it. Now a lot of us got insecurities. This is this is not this is not just you, right? I'm not, it's not just you. I'm, I'm trying to get you to understand something that I actually understand where you're coming from, right? Let me let me take you from one insecure person who's also. If I see a girl that I'm liking today and she, I see her talking to her dude, I'm gonna get pissed too. But that tells me I'm insecure because first and foremost, I've made a judgment and said it's right or wrong without actually checking all the facts. I haven't had a conversation with her. I haven't asked her what what was going on. I haven't done my due diligence. The fact that you make that judgment so swiftly talks to the fact that there is some insecurity there. That's no, what I'm trying to get you to see. That I was drunk. That's all. I no, 
No, oh, your drunkness is your, your drunkness is a part of. People don't realize because the culture don't drink. But the the truth is, courage juice, as we like to call it, drunk juice. I mean, liquid of truth. That's what it is. That's your true thing. And the insecurities insecurities is not a bad thing. Just just understand that we all literally have it. I've been in places where I've seen my dude or whatever or a person I thought I was talking to in somebody else's face. It make me. It makes you feel some type of way. It's not. It's not nothing to take as a bad thing. We don't want somebody, especially as a protector, like you seem like you want to protect the people you love. As a protector, we don't like people that we supposed to be protecting in other people's faces, spaces and all that stuff like that. It makes us feel some type of way. The insecurities manifest differently in everybody. Some of us know how to hold it in and then we deal with it later on. Some of us will ghost the person right after some of us blow up and go off in the moment. It's about how you handle the insecurities. Some of us rather just go ahead and face the insecurities head on and say, hey, who is this person? So I can find comfort in what's happening. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I think Coach I was trying to get to is in that moment, you had a moment of insecurity. It's not saying you're an insecure person overall. You just mm. had a moment of insecurities. Okay. I can agree with that. And one quick thing. I'm a definition person, so I always do this. So um, <laughs> insecurity is not firmly fixed, liable to give way or break. A second version is not confident or assured, uncertain, and anxious. So rather than feeling the emotional response when you hear the word insecurity, your behavior showed insecurity because, truthfully, when you saw Maya interacting with that other guy, you were unconfident about where you stood with her. So that caused you to react. And I think that's why you can't run away from the word. It doesn't make you less of a person. It's understanding what triggers your behavior. That's what's going to help you to do better in the future and not continue to do those things. Because see, what happened is earlier, that same insecurity showed up when you feel like people are saying, oh, you 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 got with Maya, but you don't know how to deal with a baddie. So now you got to overcompensate because you feel like, no, 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 you're not going to tell me who I am. And I think, you, you you know, you just have to, like, understand the word you know, we all have those insecurities in our lives. And when we run away from, when we run away from it, actually, we are running into our own insecurities. Um, so, you know, that's the part that's going to help you better handle your emotions, better handle situations when you get to those, those tenuous things, because it's going to happen, which is why my first question was, what are you going to do again? Because if you've been with baddies, you've been with beautiful women, you know men are going to talk to them. So how you handle that is more about you and it's less about them. And by the way, Lauren, I really appreciate the fact that you listen, it takes a lot to sit here and take the hits. Do you know what I'm saying to you, right? This this is why I, I really appreciate you coming on here and taking the hits, bro. You could have you could have hidden away, you could have stayed where you were, and you've been respectful, you've you've heard everybody's thoughts and different opinions, whether you liked it or not. And you know what I'm saying? And it takes a lot to sit here for next for the last hour or so to take some of the tips, not just from us, but from also the audience as well. Right? That's oh, that's why that's a huh? I don't pay attention to the comments. I literally see, can't see right there. Listen, Lauren, let me tell you something. Can I just say something? Brother to brother. I need you to stop the cap. Okay? Stop I'm the reason. Reason. No, 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 wait, 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 I like you too much for this cat that you're giving to me right now, okay? I, because oh, first and oh, foremost, you just you just looked at the comments a few minutes ago and said, "What the yeah, heck are they talking I about?" So you've been looking oh, at the comments. That, 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 but but this, this, he don't pay attention to us sidekicks and plus ones. <laughs> oh, a lot of mercy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I got you heard me? I just want you to slow. I just want you, Laurent, just to. And this will come a little bit later on. It won't happen now. I understand it because right now is the heat of the moment. I just want I want to say these words because sometimes words are plant we plant seeds for later on, right? So we plant them, someone else will water it. By the grace of God, he brings increase. What we're trying to get you to see, and this is why I think Seaway, Jay, Sean have been so um, you know, uh, I would let's say, you know, careful in how they've actually dissected the situation by asking you lots of questions, is they're trying to get you to a place where you can open and expand your mind to start being a bit more aware in the current moment. 
you just did a thing again. This you just you just explained what Sean was actually trying to tell you earlier on is that in your moments you do things you might not think that you're being quote unquote insecure or having an ego in that moment, but you just did it just then. Like we just we just we were just we we're just praising you. We're saying how great you know you da da da. And then we said about the then you had to then you had to throw it in there. I don't look at the comments. Yeah, when when you do let that, let the bottom feeders know nobody's paying attention to them. But see, even that, but see right there, I hear what you're trying to do, but you see right there, it's not showing anybody else up apart from yourself. Hey. Like like you maybe you may think you're firing the shots and, and, and you're shooting and everything else, but you're only doing yourself dirty. You just said you don't even look at the comments, so why would you, why would you be talking about bottom feeders if you're not looking at the comments? So that, that's the whole point. You exp you end up exposing yourself. So what I'm trying to tell you is that because when you when you get hurt, and I, I want to show you, I want to just take, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, man to man. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the picture for you because I I I do empathize with you a lot on what I see. Right. Let me tell you. Let me let me tell you what you know what I've experienced in the past to, to make it understandable. You know when you do that kind of stuff right there. Right. When women aren't dealing with you, they start calling you the b word. The very word that you keep dodging that you said you didn't say, right? They start calling you the B word. You know why? Because every time they, every time you you have a position, you shift your position. You don't stand still. You don't stand on your square. You don't stand ten toes down. You shift and you flick and you move. And when you do that, you're unstable. And when you're unstable, it is not. It doesn't promote any kind of confidence and any type of uh, assurity for the other person, right? Now, if you're giving us this version of you. It means, let me tell you what it really means. It means you've given my this version of yourself too. Because if you can flick, flicker, 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 flick, flick, flicker, when we ask a question, you can jump in between. And what it really means is that when you were dealing with Maya, the same thing you were doing then. Because you're often yeah. consistent in how you behave here. As I'm, you behaving I'm, I'm telling you. I, I, do you, do you I, and let me tell you why I know this. Let me, let, me let me tell you why I know this, Laurent. Let me tell you why I know this. You sat on our panel for a whole hour, bro. And you are not going to do anything different than what you are already. You can, uh, the Bible says, train a child in a way to go and he will, he will not depart from it. You do exactly what you've been patterned and trained to do. So when you're giving me flicker, 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 flicker on this panel, it means you would have given her flicker, 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 flicker as well, no. right? Because how you show up here is it's, oftentimes how you're going to show up to people. I'm just, I'm trying to get you to understand this. Huh? It's not the same. It's, 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 it's not the same. I don't have, and this is not a personal dig to y'all, I promise. I don't value y'all as much as I value my. So when it comes to her, I am very consistent. I've always been. I've always been. I've been consistent for the last 10 months. I've always been consistent on my position with her. But do you see what you just did there? I can guarantee you that with Maya too. See, what you did there, right, is even though you said you weren't trying to be shady and you weren't trying to be just no dispensers, you couldn't find a better way of saying what you just said. You couldn't find it. You, you, no, 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 run, run. Listen, I want you to listen. No, 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 listen. I want you to listen. No, I want you to listen to what we're saying because you're missing it again. Jay tried to tell you this at the very beginning. Jay tried to explain this to you in the very beginning. You couldn't find a better way to explain what you had to said. You didn't have to explain that way. You intentionally explained that way. You, you don't know how to get out of the space of shooting people. You don't know how to get out of that space. When you feel like your back's against the wall, like Travis Green will, scream, will sing for us in, in, you know, for the gospel, you don't know what to do apart from shooting back. So your natural inclination is to get shady. It's a cut. It's to throw a little vindictive little shade. This is no shade to y'all, but I don't care about y'all. And it's like, you didn't have I to fight. You didn't have to word it that way. You, you, I, I, know you don't, I know you might not care about the uh, opinions I, in that I, way, I, but you didn't have to say it that way. But let me tell you this now. You do care. Do you know why you do care? Because you're here on this panel. Care. No, no, because you, you spent an hour on this panel defending yourself, yet you say you don't care. You care. You care way too much. So don't, don't, don't sit here. No, 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 no. You, no, no, you sat here, Laron. No, no, Laron, Laron. You sat here for a good hour defending yourself and telling us you don't care. Do you no, see what I'm saying about inconsistency? You know I care about you. I call you almost every other day. I know, bro. I, I know. I do care about your opinion. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I can be more consistent with Maya because of how much I value her. That's what I'm saying. It was not mm. a big for you guys. I actually enjoy you guys' channel. I do find you guys very entertaining. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, see where you married. You don't value me the same way you value your husband, right? I'm pretty but sure your husband is I, But I made sure to treat you with respect like I treat my husband right. I didn't say I, I devalue you, right? 
I don't devalue y'all. That's not what I was trying to. I, I don't you mean, you, just mean, you, mean that you, you value Maya more, so you put in more effort. But yes. I wanted to say, response to that, you say you value her more. But she got in this chat and she said, take her pictures down. She's asked you to take her pictures down. Tell her to call me. And we'll, and we'll and your pictures, but see, that's ah. what I'm saying. <laughs> if you value her, we'll call me, we'll discuss it. then take her picture down, right? No, tell ah. her to call me and we'll discuss it. And then, I'll, and then we can go from there. Boy. Don't let her tell you she doesn't want you twice, my nigga. Let me tell you this now. Nah, 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 nah. Family, man to man. Nah, exactly. Wait the fuck up. No, 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 no. Wait, listen, listen, Ron. Wait the nah, F up. Wait. No, 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 Ron, 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 Ron. Wait the F up. And smell the Kenko coffee. Listen, you can only take disrespect. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 Ron. You're getting done dirty. No, no, no. I need you to listen. No, 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 Ron. Listen, listen to what you're saying. No, no, no. Listen. You see, you see, this is, this is why they're going to call you a simp. Because you're not listening. The person's told you take my photos down in yeah. public. No, no, no. Just, take, just listen to what he said. They, no, no, no. no. Listen page. to what I'm saying to you. Listen to what I'm saying to you. The person's in public come out and told you take the photos down, and they've told you they weren't in a relationship with you, and they told you we weren't dating. They've in let's let's just say let's take my as as it is. Right? It's public disrespect. So let's just say it like that. Right? So for only only to understand from your perspective, the person publicly disrespects you that way. Yeah. You you at least have dignity on the screen. That at least at least no. you know you you want well, you want to do something behind the scenes, do behind the scenes, but on the screen the have dignity. Why would have I dignity. Why would I bow down to the man? Yeah 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 yeah. If she take, if she, so what? Take it down. You dogging me in the comments. Take it down. I think that's oh. a fair change. Kaya, I think that's a fair change. I'm praising you, and you're dogging me. I would gladly take it down. If you take your video down, if you take all your videos down of me off your page, I would gladly take it down. See that now, now that, that would have been a sensible that would have been a sensible response the first time around, but he, he ain't go with that. But anyway, sure, go for it. But yeah, I, I was just gonna say, like, take you back to your original thought, right? And I think this is where things kind of go off the rails. Is you said you value, let's just extract the fact that you said you value Maya, right? So when you value somebody. Do you respect the things that they ask of you? She clearly doesn't value me anymore. So no, 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 why? no. Forget why? about. And I think that's where you kind of go off because now you it has to be an even exchange. But if you value her, do you respect what she has asked of you? Not at this time, no. So then you don't value her, and I think that's what that's really the problem is. You don't value her. You only value her when she's doing the things that you want her to do. And that's problematic. You get what I'm saying? Because when I care about somebody, if they're like, Sean, yo, stop. Or I don't want you to do that. I have to respect what that person is asking me. So, so you have to you have to understand you... what valuing somebody really means. Okay. I, I think it's two things. One, what, what you do and what another person does is separate and apart. You're only responsible for your own character and your own actions. So if you value her, regardless if she values you, she asked you to take the pictures down, take the pictures down. But two, as a man and, and how you say you are, you should be a leader. So if you guys are racing to the floor to be, who's going to be the most petty? I'm not calling her petty. I'm not calling you petty. But I'm saying if you guys are doing that, who's going to be the one to stop it? If you're the man, be the leader. Take her pictures down. And honestly, you're blocking your own your own situation. If you're gonna find another woman, how you gonna find another woman? You got another woman's picture on your page. You don't think women have inboxed me since I put that up? Then those are not the type of women you want. Then any woman <laughs> that inboxes any woman that inbox you, where you have another woman on your page, is a low vibrational, not the type of woman that you want to be with. If you're going to therapy, you're stopping the drinking, you're trying to improve yourself. You shouldn't be with a person that's inboxing you because you have another woman on your page. They're trying to they're trying to clout chase off of another woman. What type of woman does that? That's weird. Like I would just give her give a clean. You don't you don't mess this one up. There's too much water on the bridge. She's disowned you in public. You talk about you don't value her. You say other people cuter than her. There's there's no coming back from none of that. So you might as well just take your picture off and move yeah, on. Yeah, when she when she takes. The promo offer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say okay, this. Okay, so you don't want to be the leader in this. No, okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna I'm gonna just say this right now. If you actually really wanted Maya back, 
No, I don't. No, no, I said if this is an if. I'm okay. not saying now. I'm not saying now. If you okay. wanted my back, if you had one in my back, and if you wanted to clear your name, I'm gonna tell you one thing for sure. And I said that to Seaway earlier. I'm not, I'm not, I'm everybody know I'm not a big fan of Chaz, but Chaz has a thing that he does very well. He remains very quiet and let everybody does his opinion, their opinions. The best PR is sometimes and the best thing to do in certain situations is say less. The less you say, the better it is for you. When you give people their time and their space when they are pissed off at you, just let them have that time and that space. You you do what has been happening is you've been doing so much and in, in the under the guise of wanting to get Maya back that it's you've been just, no no I'm saying it, but you've been doing it because you just told me you don't want her anymore. So I'm saying you're no, doing it under no, the guise. No, I know you said before it's under the guise of getting her back. And what you've been doing is pushing her away. You have to allow people to have their space sometimes. Just let them breathe and think through. Because sometimes when we have our space, we realize we overthinking something. We are the problem. We are this, that, and the third. Sometimes it works in your favor. I'm not saying this case would have worked in your favor, but you just needed to give her the yeah. space and let all of this die down and then try to reconvene on a, a more personal time instead of being all public with everything. Because now you guys are publicly fighting and it's going to make it even harder for you both to come back. Well, she, mm. Y'all on that Ray J, y'all on that Ray J and Princess Love <laughs> right now. Like seriously, and it's, it's, it's like, it's entertaining to us for a bit, but it doesn't help y'all re y'all relationship. You know what I'm saying? Being on a public space. I, I wouldn't want to argue with my man publicly because then if I want to get back with him, and now I got to answer to That's the public like, yeah. on why I want to be back with him. You know, it, it makes it a, a difficult place for her to be in because now all of us are now invited into your relationship where we shouldn't be. We actually really shouldn't be in your relationship. Well, y'all, y'all are y'all and a bunch of other bloggers is the reason why I went downhill. Well, see, everybody is a problem, it. LeBron. Everybody but yourself is a problem. That's well, the I'm saying we were good. We were good until this episode and then shit just blew up. We were good. We were good. She but when shit blew up, you couldn't let the bloggers shit. say what they wanted to say, the bloggers, all these people, because we all we do is have speculations and opinions. That it, it absolutely means that nothing. It absolutely means nothing. It, it used to affect me. Like it used to affect me. Like every Friday night, because I'm not going out partying anymore, my nerves are literally bad until four o'clock in the morning. It used to affect me. Looking at what y'all saying, looking at all oh, this, this, this. This blog is saying this. This blog is saying this. It affected me. It affected other people on the show. I've talked to other cast members. The way y'all come at us is crazy. And it's not just you. I'm not saying y'all. It does affect us. It does affect us. And it affected this situation. My shit is gone because of bloggers in the internet. My yeah, shit yeah. is completely obliterated because of... I went through the process to find love. The TV show was just a side effect. And now because of the TV show and the internet, the person who I wanted to find love with is like tweaking now. On me, I, I like tell you I this again, I said it once before too though. If that, that if that was your person, all of this would not be it. But you doing the extras on top of it makes it even worse. This there's a lot of people that go through this scrutiny. Joy and Clifton go through this scrutiny, but they went through this scrutiny together. You know what I'm saying? Camille and Cornelius went through this scrutiny and they just let it die off. And now they have a release relationship in peace together. There's other people that came before you on this platform that went through the same scrutiny, but they managed to get through it and said less when they needed to, said just what they needed to, and kept their relationship out of our business. Some of these people on their way down the aisle, some of them made it down the aisle. You could have been one of these people, but instead you wanted to do the tit for tat play into some of these bloggers and all of this stuff like that into that what they got going on instead of just sitting back and just be like hey my talking this mess they talking this mess but they don't even know what's going on 
And that's how yeah, it was. It was it it was it was You're talking about bloggers, and again, dis disclaimer, this has nothing to do with Kojo. This is Seaway's opinion. And you legit are getting down with the messiest of the bloggers. Who? But you don't it don't matter who you know who so you're getting yeah you're getting down you're laying in the bed you're laying in the bed with the mess but you're blaming the youtubers she's the only one that has my back no she's not really, really. you're she's in a whole bunch of mess we look what the mess you're in right now but anyway that's, 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 that's glitching. <laughs> she's literally the only one that has my back we're gonna move on we're moving on but that's your yeah. discernment. We're, that's your discernment issue again it's, it's it's popping up again but my thing is maya is in the comments saying that you guys were just friends when you made this post on your instagram and when these bloggers are a, a quote-unquote attacking your relationship so i'm not trying to call you delusional Wait. but there's a disconnect there's a huge disconnect. It's, she's already told me that she's going to disrespect me publicly, and we're way beyond that. She can tell y'all that. She can tell y'all that. But if I really wanted to, I can go there. And I, if I really wanted to, I can go there. And I don't think she really wants me to do that. She's telling y'all that because she told me she was going to disrespect me. Don't do it. 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 If I really want to I believe you. Ahead, I believe you. I believe you. It's not, it's not going to be pretty. It's not. So, like, I accepted it. You said we were never in a relationship. Just stop speaking on me. Stop speaking on my name. Take down the videos where you're talking crap about me. And honestly, oh, I'm, I'm not going to say it, but just just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Because you know that that's, that's, that's not where we were at. It's all right. It's all right, Lauren. We go. We go. Don't worry. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Let's let's move on. Yeah. So I, I have, a, there, I have a, a quick question though. I'm like, trying to be nice. So let's just because I've been there too. Sometimes you get into a heated exchange and then you're just gonna go. You're gonna go forward before you hit reverse. So mm. I think we just need you to hit reverse. If we can get back to the beginning, like what? Like out of all of this. What are you what are you looking to do? Do you feel like your reputation is messed up? Is there something you want to clear up? Because she literally this said is confusing. In front of millions of people that I called her a B and I said F her to her when she knew that did not happen. My I'm on a cruise. People coming up to me, oh you're around from Reggie Love. The first couple of days were straight. Boom. Then Friday, Saturday rolls around. Oh, why'd you call that girl a bitch? I'm like, I did not do that shit. I did not do it. And I definitely, like, I never, like, what she said was very damaging to my character. That shit was a lie. That shit was a straight up lie. I, wanted to, I could take to the court and subpoena all the recordings from OWN so we can really get the full story. That shit was a straight up lie. That shit was damaging to my character. You don't know what I had in the works. You don't know what I had in the works, and you lied on me on national TV off a of hearsay. Now, let me tell you, I could go and say all the hearsay that I heard about her. That's not, I've always addressed it directly to her. Like, you went on national TV and lied. And then we, we've we been talking, we've been laughing with each other, we've been doing it, and you never thought to mention this shit to me. I literally told you the week prior, remember the good times before episode, the next episode show is beeping. You tell me it's just a TV show. That okay, okay, now I'm tripping then. Okay. But when the TV show airs, you start moving differently. You start disrespecting me. So either one or two things happen. You either saw the show and you felt some type of way and you changed how you're moving, or two, you've been lying to me this whole time. It's one of the two. It's one of the two. It could be. I'm not even mad. At, I'm not even mad at you. I'm not even mad at you, bro. I understand. I understand where you're coming from. I just want you to take. I just want you to take a. Just want you to take a little breather. Let's just. Just take it. Just give yourself a few minutes. Because I know when I get to this space, Sean. <laughs> I usually have Sean as a as a regulator. So, <laughs> but we don't know you like that to regulate you. So uh, I don't want you to say anything. Like, you know what I mean? Very emotionally invested in this woman. 
So mm. you and, and and to see that on TV and that's the first time that I hear and see that, that shit hurt. And I told her that that shit hurt. And she laughed at it. And she continued to say, it's beyond disrespect now. So either one, you've been playing me this whole time. And if that's the case, I can take that. I can take that. I'll take my L. Just say which one it was. Because if you've been playing me this whole time, I'll take my L. But if you change your, your, your perspective based off of this, then she's no better than me. It sounds like there's there's a small disconnect. This is one of those situations mm. where there's a sliver of information missing that if you guys could sit down and talk about that sliver of information, I think that you could have some peace. But you can't do that. When you're on this platform, when you're on other platforms, when you guys are on Instagram and in the comments, you're never going to figure out where is the disconnect. Yeah, awesome. Well, the, the, I, I think this is a good lesson, right? And I feel like we're about the same age. At this point, we should already know this lesson. You cannot make anybody do something that they don't want to do. If they won't give you the closure and you can't have the conversation and they won't give you the conversation, then you just have to let it go. Meaning take the photos down, even if she doesn't take her video down, move on. Don't speak on her. And honestly, talk to God or your therapist about it. If you're not going to be able to get the closure from her and maybe I want the closure. why do I have to be the bigger person? It's why can't she just take the video down? I, 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 I've asked her repeatedly to stop talking to me. You don't have to be the bigger continue. person. It's about why, why, why is it put on me? Why is it put on me? How much is your piece worth though? That's what you have to ask yourself. You want to keep going on like this? You can keep going on like this. And the same thing goes to Maya. How much is your piece worth? Because to be honest, I would have been called you about whatever the beef is because I don't want my pictures plastered on another man's Instagram when I'm trying to move on. So this is not just to you. It's to both of you guys. Like this is not the platform where we get a lot of kiki from other people's pain you guys are clearly, I'm not going to go as far as pain, but there's clearly some discomfort there. And none of us get joy by it. Honestly, it's confusing and it's a little disheartening. I would challenge both of you guys to get off of this platform, get on the phone and try to figure out where is that sliver of misunderstanding and then respect each other's boundaries. Take down the video if that's so problemsome. Take down her pictures and move on. That's what I would do. I, that's what I tried to do. She told me, fuck you. So. So she says here, y'all were cool until you got on online lying on Friday. I don't know where you got I didn't online. Lie. I said that that shit didn't happen. I said it didn't happen. That's not a lie. You lied. And you told the truth in the comments. And Mika told the truth. You lied and said, I said that in front of you. And I didn't. And that's what I said in the comments. She lied. So that's y'all disconnect. Okay, you saying? Yes. Okay, that's, I see that's saying. I see saying. And that's maybe, and maybe you guys are never gonna meet in the middle because she believes that you said it. You believe that she's lying. So if you guys are not gonna uh, to agree, you're gonna have to agree to disagree. Literally, you're on the platform. If these people in the comments want to believe that you called her a B, they're gonna believe it. If they want to give you the benefit of the doubt, they're gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. There's nothing else that you can say, I promise you. People have made up their minds. So at this point, if you guys can't get on one accord, you have to just move on. I am moving on. That I just wanted to come, I just wanted to come and say my side. I am moving on. That's I'm, I just came up to say my side because that's not what she did wasn't right. So I wanted to I wanted to go on record to say that that didn't happen the way she, she tried to make it seem like it happened. That's all I wanted to say. That's it. Well, we heard you. No, I hear that. That's, that's not fun. We got you. Well, listen, look, Laron. Look, we've come to, to a fabulous end for you. You know what I mean? Like, listen, I want to give you as much time as possible. Oh, no, you I'm know what I mean? You, you've, been a, <laughs> you've been a good sport. You know what I mean? Listen, and the show's not over yet. So, shoot, I might even bring you up for a third time. Let me do a record myself, okay? <laughs> because we might have to address some more things after the reading. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm leaking everything, bro. So <laughs> I'm leaking everything. Is that what you're talking about this conversation, Laron? Is that the takeaway? No, 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 no,
<laughs> you about to become the joke? Uh, one, one thing I do want to correct for you, bro, because I'm from New York. Uh, we That's not how we talk to our women, bro. So I just want you to do better with the language. You know, your, your homegirl right from Jersey, Queen Latifah made up a song about women calling, women being called the B-word. So I just think you need to reassess and re reevaluate your use of the word and your relationships with women and how you communicate. I think trying to dig deeper and throw receipts around, it's not going to get you anywhere but deeper in a hole that you're going to have a tough time digging yourself out of. So I would encourage you uh, to just rethink whatever you're thinking about doing. I just always got to right. be the bigger person, huh? That's crazy. That's crazy. Yes, yes, you do. So. We don't want yes, the receipts. Do. We want you to rise above and... um. We want to see a success story. I mean, let's and, see and, one and of the if you can back it, because you still we, we even asked those questions about Will. So you 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 were lucky. I want, but I think it's enough oh, for you today. You did Will bogus. That now that you did. You did Will uh, bogus. Oh, come on, come on. No, Address that bogus. because what? The event happened out of order. We had that meeting first, and then Tommy. I was trying to protect Mika because she just got in an argument with one of the dudes. So I had that meeting. So I, because the week before, a dude got eliminated. So I'm under the assumption that a woman is getting eliminated. I did not know a man was getting eliminated. I swear on my life. Everybody, Chaz was there. I I doubt Mika and Maya would take my side now. But they know the truth. Rashina was there. Patrice was there. Like, I did not throw William under the bus like that. It was that was not. Yeah. That, besides that point right there, besides that point right there, how you get up in there telling all these people, don't be jealous, hey, people look. got moves around, and then you get in the club and proceed to be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> that was diabolical. Diabolical indeed. That was diabolical. I was like, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> 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 you know, My brother was like, mm -hmm, you got William up right there, He's like, I, I told him not to be jealous, but I was going to be jealous. Like, no, <laughs> you need oh, to be jealous. Let's be jealous of our connection. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go that way. Laron, I can tell you think quickly and your brain moves quickly and you're using it for bad. You're using it for manipulation and you're using it for dark arts. You honestly should use the, the intelligence that I could tell a guy gave you. And don't use it to be petty and to, to get poor Will up out of there. He didn't deserve that. He couldn't even explain himself. I was so upset. I was like, really? Then so, to the gulag. Here's, here's a little bit of information on that, too. He told me that he got Patrice and Vanessa to vote me off to balance it out so that he wouldn't get sent home. So I'm like, oh, okay. Like, that's what I was mad about on the ride up there. He constantly told me that. And thought that I was going to be okay with that. And I'm like, no. Even the whole Alexis thing where he got in his confessional after he got eliminated and say, oh, that's not the type of energy. He voted Alexis off. The head producer had to run inside the room and say, wait a minute. I called y'all. Y'all y'all said this, these are the people you're voting off, and now you're changing your story. I'm not the one that can control Alexis getting off. Now, I did beg the producers if she did get voted off that I could do it. But... Everybody voted her off besides dumb. So don't believe everything you see. And then, no you was crying, and then you was crying when you voted her off. You folded there too. Nah, no. When I got there, I was on some bullshit. And the producer came up to me and said, this ain't BET. This ain't VH1. You got to handle this with respect, like Tommy said. And I was just like, all right. And I told her she moved like a snake. Like I, I compared her to a politician that she can, she can, she can shift and change her viewpoint of who she is by whoever she's interacting with. But they didn't show that. Own hates me. They fucking hate me for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe well, I can see I why. <laughs> they fucking hate me. They fucking hate me, bro. They no. fucking hate me. I don't know why. And I say this all the time, and I'm going to say it. It's a little too late for you, okay, because you don't went through the season. But for if this show continues... If you are deciding to jump on people's platforms, be out in people's chats, be all over the internet, spilling half the tea before the episode airs, mind you, they still have editing control of everything up until the very last minute, okay? So this re reunion may not go... 
Oh it's shit! They don't need no stuff for you either. They don't need to edit that for that to happen. <laughs> but they did. Like even the catfish episode, man, they fucked me over. They took a two-hour conversation and condensed it to one minute of me fucking up some catfish. That was yeah. disrespectful. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna hold them though, cause that catfish. Yo, bro, is I like some good fire. catfish for myself. So. <laughs> you need to get paid for that recipe. You, fire, you that catfish. will mess up that catfish. I can't that see you. No, that's that catfish, nigga. That's that crawfish. They would, they would. I'd have had the same edit, bro. So listen, I'm with you. I would have had the same edit. Putting hot sauce. <laughs> Like it's all right. I don't have some tartar sauce on the side, some mac and cheese. And then the edit Jay just like, then it just <laughs> smacking bad hot sauce. It's all right, you know. Which, which restaurant was that? It was called Pelican House. It's like in South Dallas. The shit was fire though. I ain't gonna lie. They they do like the governor's ball. It's like they they feed like every time they do like inaugurations and everything like that. But, I'm in Dallas. I need to. I need to go there. That catfish looks so good. Nah, nah. I'm gonna take you where I took the other cast members. We are gonna go to GVO. I don't want to go where you took other cast members. We different. You need to take I'm us somewhere else. That's the catfish. You need to go where it's safe. You need to go where it's safe. I don't know which one. I'm Dallas telling you, that's, GVO got the best catfish. Ask, ask Patrice. She's been addicted ever since I took her there. See, this this is the Leron we can get behind, bro. And I think, you know what? And and I think just like what you were talking about with the edits and stuff, you spend more time just being the good time guy that you are versus trying to get at people. We know you can do it. We know you're smart. We know you're strategic. But unfortunately, sometimes you're going to take an L because that's just how life works. So oh, <laughs> be, be more invested in doing the right thing because you're going to you're gonna reap better, better, di better dividends, buddy. You know, when you start doing wrongness, it's eventually you gonna get that downside, and that's just as the old, you know. I got some years on you, bro. I'm telling you, don't use your talents for bad because it's just gonna do nothing but come right back to you. And you always gotta look over your corner, over your shoulder. So stick to but this. If you're guy. gonna do bad, make sure you don't get caught because you you've been getting caught. You know don't what I mean? That's, that's, the <laughs> that's the whole problem. You be getting caught. That's the problem. You don't even have to do dark hearts properly. Consult me and Jay next time you're going to do dark hearts. You out here leaking and shit, leaving things out. You know what I'm saying to you? My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm just saying, my dad always said if you're going to do something, do well. You know what I mean? They said I can't go nowhere with LeRon. He's going to cuss me too. Oh, I know. He ain't reformed I would not do that. He ain't reformed, y'all. He's going to cuss you out while he's eating a catfish. Cast members hung out with me outside the show. I am not like that. I've hung out with everybody except for Alexis outside the show. They know I'm a cool ass nigga. Like I know all the spots. I know we can have fun. Like I promise you, man. Own just hates me. They just hate me for some reason. I don't know why. It's because your it's because your dark arts is too public. You need to understand when you're doing dark arts, you need to be underhanded with it. You know what I'm saying to you? Oh, Joe. Get what I'm saying to you? Don't 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 be out here showing all your cards. You're playing poker. And you got no face. Come on. <laughs> you you. What are you doing? <laughs> I gotta let him know, innit? You know what I mean? If you are gonna do bad, make sure you do it well. You know what I mean? If you're gonna be a villain, be a proper villain. Get caught, bro, look at Diddy huh? running from the feds today. You get you, caught. You know, well, Diddy, Diddy's dark, that's not dark cards. At that point, that's that's yeah, that's some demon stuff. Listen, but, what's done in the dark comes okay. out in the light. That's very true. He does. <laughs> Kojo, you got to tell him like Mr. Incredible. Stop putting the cape on. You can't wear the cape. See, you can't wear that's it. You're going to be a super villain. You can't wear the cape. The cape going to get you caught all the time. That's what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to tell him. It's going to get you strangled up. You know what I'm saying to you? You know? Yeah, you got to make a suit without a cape. He, he, he out here like, like a Gotham villain, like Penguin. You know, he's, you're not offering nothing to us. You know what I'm saying to you? You know what I mean? <laughs> Be a proper villain, do you know what I'm saying to you? But being penguin ain't ain't gonna help your effect out here. You we know what dropped mean? a lot of gems tonight. I will ignore everything that Kojo just said. And that's the that's all of a sudden we're gonna pick it up. You know how that's what that's that's what we're gonna hear. Let me plan this properly next time. <laughs> disregard that. Because exactly you can plan, plan you can plan right and plan. He's like mm, <laughs> growth or darkness. <laughs> Yes. Just, just write this. your plans in pencil, bro. Because God's gonna erase all of them. It was a lot of free games today, so I really hope you you listen to some of it. He ain't catching that ball. <laughs> You're all crazy, man. That is not a touchdown. Um, but listen, when y'all here in Houston huh? or Dallas, man, hit me up, man. I'll show y'all a good time for sure. 
Oh, yeah, listen, drinks on you. I don't drink, but drinks on you. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 be don't be getting all getting all, uh, mad when we have drinks on you, and then you then you suddenly start wanting to fight us and stuff. I'll fight back. I'm gonna let you know. You know what I'm saying? I don't even eat tacos, but you know, I'll take a three dollar taco. No, no, that's not who I am. I swear to God. And just give me some. Why well, can't we go Cabon? Listen, huh? I'm not I'm not like my. I want to be taken out to expensive restaurants. I got soft life. You better take me to Cabon. <laughs> <laughs> Only being cheap on me. You better spend that money. Mm? Look, I'm gonna I'm help Maya write a cease and desist letter to you if you don't take her pictures down. Take her pictures down. <laughs> 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 it's just I'm like Eric said in the chat. We signed a contract, right? That's all from the show. Those are those. You're those are mad. You're so petty. Those Listen, are okay, so we did not see none of that in the show. <laughs> <laughs> I was in jail messing with a petty man. Those are social assets I got. You know what I mean? My own. <laughs> I work on your dark arts, baby. We got to work on this. <laughs> we got to work on that. Let's take one and leave our wing, Jay, because this ain't it. Yeah. That Wi Fi <laughs> ain't connecting. What does Nadia do? I'll be right at your door with my finger. <laughs> That's it. Bop, bop, bop. And you. Bop, bop. <laughs> <laughs> and you. <laughs> That's what I'm uh, there you go. There's, that's the dark arts. That's the dark arts you got to work on right there. <laughs> See, I like how you that one. Like you. See, your, cr- your crime's me. getting you caught. <laughs> sure. So crazy, man. What was the pleasure, man? I appreciate it. No, no, I appreciate Lauren still, man. I'll holler at you. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. appreciate dog. That yeah. ain't me too bad. I just, yeah, appreciate it. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all hold it down, man. I appreciate my dog. Blessings, Take yeah. Take it easy. Peace, peace. Safe, brother. Bye bye. Appreciate you. So, listen, we've got the rest of the show to talk about, guys. Listen, if you're here, we've got 810 <laughs> people in the room. Hey, he's going to cry in the car. He's going to cry in the car. Now, see if I can get a piece of caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so freaking hungry. That's all I got. He's going to cry in the car. So, the rest of the show, guys. Um, I mean the biscuit. So sorry. Yeah, aside, yeah. obviously, Leron yeah, and um, aside, Leron and obviously Maya, we just discussed them, and hopefully, I get Maya on the show and we'll interview her as well because you know now we have got a whole bunch of questions to ask. But um, um, the rest of the show, you know, we had uh, Patrice, we had um, <laughs> we had um, Patrice and Alonso, um, uh, we also had um. Chaz, Chaz was in the chat as well. Shout out to Chaz. Chaz was in the chat. I didn't think he'll come back after I cast him out, um, but good on the lads. You know what I mean. And even gave us a little one ninety nine. Last time he dropped ninety nine, he dropped one ninety nine today. Chaz, I'm gonna need you to bump it back up again, okay? You started a thing, I need you to continue that level, okay? I'm one of those. I'm one of those people that you need to. I need to be maintained. Do you get what I'm saying? Not to you, you right? Legal like everybody else. I really am. I just need him to start. I need him to maintain it. You can't start high and then drop low. Do you know what I'm saying to you? You taking me to expensive restaurants? Continue that place. So Chaz, next time, don't drop one ninety nine again. It's kind of cheap. I need you to drop ninety nine plus because that's what you did last time. Okay, all right. I appreciate that. Um, so Chaz, obviously Vanessa had their little. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm I'm trying to maintain the standard here. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to be maintained. Okay, all right. Um, so we had uh, Chaz and Vanessa. They had their situation. She called it. She called him. You better leave Chaz and his temple worship alone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not they calling you a sugar baby in the chat. <laughs> uh, listen, AD ain't got nothing on me. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> I'm a sure probably I'm a kept person, okay? Um, but uh um so Chaz and Vanessa had their thing, and then also uh who was the last couple I'm thinking of? Mika and Justin. So we'll go through that real quick. I know we kinda went through it on the weekend, but I know I want you guys are gonna have a bit more time to kind of say stuff as well. But let's start with obviously Chaz and Vanessa. That was a craziness as well. Old girl just called him. I mean, Vanessa pretty much called him a manipulator. I know she. I know she was trying to guys it underneath her. My friend just said, you know, you're just too smart to be so simplistic. You're basically manipulative. And I was like, oh snap. Um, what's your thoughts to this situation with Vanessa and 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 Chaz? And I know Seaway is gonna not hold back. So, I mean, I know you got some bullets. I'm exhausted with them. I think. I think Chaz is very. <laughs> he is very manipulative. He told me. In another round in Jay's channel, that we're gonna get an answer from him about everything is gonna be clear. So we're waiting for that. Cause right now this ain't making sense. But let me finish chewing. You can go ahead, Jay. <laughs> yeah, I agree. He's manipulative. And I mean, I don't know how you don't equate intelligence to being manipulative. That's the best ones. 
you got to be intelligent to be a manip manipulator. Like you got to have some sort of intelligence, at least to get away with it. And baby, you do a very good job of gaslighting everybody because one minute I'll go back to the, uh, the getaway. You're over here talking about these ladies ain't giving you your time, your space and this, that, and the third or whatever. It's everything. It's all on these people. Everybody else is the problem, but you and stuff like that. And the way that you guys let the heck out of Vanessa in that situation was magnificent. Okay, baby. I'm not going to even hold you. That takes intelligence. And in turn, intelligence can play into manipulation. So yes, the two can go to hand in hand. I don't understand how you go try to play me <laughs> while I'm watching this as a viewer and try to be like, uh, uh, intelligent people cannot be manipulative. Actually, the most intelligent are when they when they need to. And see, this is the problem with the word manipulation because everybody feels like it's always a negative. Manipulation is a neutral word once again. Everybody does some form of manipulation. I'm up here talking to you right now. The way that I format my wording is a way of manipulating people's thoughts. I implant seeds in people's heads to make them believe a certain things. That's the same thing that you actually do, Chaz, is that you plant seeds in people's heads to make them believe a certain thing. You sat there and told Vanessa that she is their goddess, that you worship her whenever you walk into her temple, this, that, and the third. You're planting these seeds, but then you get into the confessional and say, I'm still confused on her. I'm not really sure what I wanna do. It's manipulation, darling. Simple as that. Go ahead. I think the problem is, is the fact that because Vanessa has proven to not be, oh gosh, has not, has proven not to be truthful about certain things, it's hard to really unpack what was really going on with her and Chaz. And so, and because neither one has come out and said anything that has made any sense, I can go only go off of what is on the screen. Because neither one of them have fully explained what the situation was. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, she's complaining on camera that she's not getting time. That he's playing around, that he's adding woman after woman, connection after connection. He's telling her one thing on camera and then he's going back to the confessional saying, uh, I'm unsure about Vanessa, right? So that... By itself, we will call Chaz a manipulator. Chaz is not being very clear. There's something up there. But with the audio that came out of her saying, oh, but we were going out on hella dates and we were doing this and this behind the scene and I was just putting on a show. It's like, I don't know what you and Chaz have going on at this point. I frankly don't understand. So I don't know what Vanessa had going on, but if Chaz was playing into that, that's a problem. And if that's not true and he was just doing what he was doing on the screen, then that's also a problem. So I don't know what to do with them two because frankly, and this is my opinion and I'll be done with it. <clears throat> I don't know how a woman of a, of a, almost a particular age can see the way Chaz is moving a man in his late forties and still lean into that without you also being a game player yourself. Because to me, as soon as this man said, I'm adding connections, I'm out the door. As soon as he's adding Patrice, I'm out the door. So I don't really understand. I don't understand the thought process. I don't understand. Unless they're both playing us. And they are. That, that Maybe that's what it is. Because it, it really doesn't. Maybe that's what Chaz is asking us to wait for. Because if you actually listen to the voicemail or, or the voice note or whatever the case may be, it's basically, ha, 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 they're believing our story. That's what it translates to at the end of the day. Granted, it's no response from him. So it does look more one-sided on her that she's saying it. But for me to even say that to you, that means that we and you already been discussing on how we going to relate. And I'm telling you, hey, it's working. What we, we, we talked about, it's working. So they're both playing us because it's like, and I don't, I don't really know what she's getting out of it or whatnot. And I don't see what Chaz, I don't really see what both of them are getting out of it because I'm not trying to go through this process and I'm actually trying to look for a real love and I'm going to have somebody blocking my blessings, pretending that we're in a relationship together. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, Chaz has plenty of connections, so I, I don't really see him benefiting too much out of it more so than her. 
of going to the end, finding, trying to hook on to him for the end. But again, I'm going to say it, you're not aligned. This is why he stays in confusion with you because he knows deep down inside y'all not aligned. The thing of why he's holding on to you, I have no clue. I really don't know why, because there's nothing, there's nothing there. She's, she cut her own self off from everybody else. She wants us to tell us that she has connection with Dom and all this stuff like that. But unfortunately, you really didn't. You really, really didn't. Because if that's the case, we would have seen you leaning in more into that than you do with Chaz. You know what I'm saying? But you don't really have a connection with either one of them. Both of these men kind of want a family, meaning they want their own children, which you are not. I don't know. I'm not going to say she don't really want because she never really said that. She says she's OK with being a baby mama, but she don't want the wife title just yet. Not anytime soon. Chaz knows he's moving. He He's more in a space where I need it more sooner. And Dominique, I don't know. I don't know. I, I still would say that you would probably move to him more. <laughs> That would have been your your real connection. We should have seen more of that, but we didn't. So they both playing in our face at the end of the day. That's what it is. Sean, Sean? <clears throat> yeah, you know, I'm, <clears throat> this one is one of those things. It's like, I think it's just, it just comes down to, in my opinion, other than what Jay and Seaware already said, is just, you got to know when to hold them and when to fold them, right? And you got to believe what somebody tells you. And it seems like if there's a mismatch between his his words and his actions, then that means that he's just not interested, right? So I hope Vanessa just moves accordingly, uh, you know, in this process and just kind of dis disengages. Her sister gave some really good insight, which I thought was great. Uh, you know, just to kind of see from what her observations were. Uh, I think it's always good to have an outside perspective from somebody that's not in it to be able to tell you, hey, listen, this is how it looks. Unfortunately, what we're seeing from this cast is a whole lot of that's not true. Y'all don't know. Unfortunately, and Miss Deb said this on Mary 10 years earlier, people always, you know, they want to defend, defend, defend. But you also have to understand you may be intending to do one thing, but then your actions show up another way. So, yeah, and you might be thinking, oh, I'm not trying to manipulate anybody. I'm trying, yeah, but it's showing up that way, and that's how it comes across. So you also have to understand how people are receiving and perceiving you, and it's not just out of nowhere. So I just want for us to, you know, understand, hey, listen, nobody's perfect, but you also have to understand when people see your actions, they show up a particular way. If Vanessa is seeing him scrambling over, you know, three and four connections and then piecemealing a connection with Patrice while they pray in the closet together, that may be your sign to exit. Read the signs. Signs, we all see signs on the road when we drive. We can choose to ignore them and do what we want to do, or we can pay attention to the signs because they're going to guide us. I think we're seeing nothing but stop signs and red stop lights when it comes to Vanessa and Chaz, and she just needs to read the sign and move on. Lastly, I think the biggest sign was, we know this, now she may not see it, she didn't hear about it per se, unless Patrice told her, but when he kind of downplayed her to Patrice and her family, to me, that means it's over. He don't, you know, he's just not liking her at all. Because if you're that comfortable with somebody you're just starting to connect with, based on what we're seeing, to talk about something negative, that the other person you're dating is doing, that means you 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 have no interest. So hopefully Patrice is a G and she levels that empathy we've been seeing all, all season and tells Vanessa, hey, listen, sis, uh, he, you know, he kind of told us a little something so Vanessa can just disconnect and stop leaving voice notes on Chaz's uh, phone so they don't get hacked. Definitely hear you. Listen, Chaz, I already told you, listen, this 199 is not cutting it, okay? All right, you started with 99, you've gone to 199, so I'm going to need you to bump it up. I like the soft life, continue, okay? All right, how you start is how you should finish, okay? Um, But yeah, no, I definitely hear what you guys are saying on, on Chaz and Vanessa. Any other additional thoughts on Chaz and Vanessa? D asked a question too. about why, why are we saying, what did Vanessa do? I think we spent a lot of time basically saying that Chaz leaked his own audio. He hacked his own phone. He was manipulative for running out of the house and then wanting women to coddle him, right? Like, we we already spent a lot of time on that. But the problem is, is that 
it's hard to go so hard for Vanessa feeling like she was two timed and she wasn't, you know, she wasn't getting that effort when the leaked audio, which we don't agree with it being leaked, says, oh, they're going to be feeling bad for me, but little do they know I'm kicking in with him. So it's like, how hard are we really supposed to go for her? Because it seems like Chaz is manipulating Vanessa and Vanessa is manipulating us. So what are we really supposed to do? That That's like the answer to the question. Like, I don't, <clears throat> I don't really understand that whole situation because if she's literally crying on camera that he's not spending time with her, and then leaving a message saying, oh, oh gotcha, I'm, I am really spending time with you? What is the truth? I don't know what the truth is. It's just weird. Like, I that that's, that's the issue. That's the problem that people have with Vanessa. And I'm not saying I dislike her. I'm just saying that I don't fully trust her. And she showed enough of, of her character for me not to fully trust her. But Chaz, I definitely don't trust you. <laughs> I don't trust Vanessa and I definitely don't trust Chaz. But the thing is, the reason why I can deal with Chaz better than I can deal with Vanessa is that I can see Chaz coming. I am never, ever, ever going to be running after a man that's adding five connections in the in the, in the the 12th hour. If a man go running out the house, I am never going to be in the room trying to pray with that man. I ain't praying with you. Stop playing with me. Like, I wouldn't be doing none of that stuff. Chaz could never get over on me. So I don't, I can't, I can't relate. To, to Vanessa's situation. To me, I, I just would never. But Vanessa is coming off like this like sweet, innocent person, but the voicemail shows that she was playing in our face. Yes, so, Chaz, I mean, we know you love temples. Temple run. Temple run, that's what I'm going to start calling you. <laughs> temple run. <laughs> well, two things can be true at the same time. So there's that. He said this one ninety nine gonna add up to nine ninety nine in a minute. <laughs> we gonna need it to get to ninety nine, okay? Back to where he was originally. I'm gonna need him to get back up to that level, okay? The offerings are on, on, on a scratch. Chaz is the king of all petty. I'm sorry. I think he is he's very. He, he is honorary right now. <laughs> he's yeah, he honorary. He honorary. He ain't coming for my title though, baby. He ain't you gotta lean in. in. No, but you see, you the queen, so that's that's why I say exactly. he's the queen. He ain't yeah, coming for the, my title though. He ain't quite up there yet. He got a little. That's not our title. We're plus one. No, yeah, no. <laughs> queen. I'm a plus one petty queen though. <laughs> We plus look, plus look, plus I got a, I got an invite, so I don't know what y'all talk about. Yeah, you, what you, I know, you, we you all just... got invitations. So oh no, you're I don't think you're where? No, no, one. he got a, he got the invite he's in the member. mail. We didn't get he's that. He's a member. He's not a plus one or a plus two. He's a member. Where's the invite? <laughs> he got it. She got it. She gave it to him. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's expired now. But <laughs> now who disloyal? Oh. Oh, would you cut Damn. it out? Would you guys knock it off? Knock you it get off. Invited, you get invited, Sean. You're not going to start. Where'd you get invited, Sean? Huh? We well, are invited, invited to your channel, Kojo. Are we not? Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hello? I, I thought you... Sorry, let me not even say the name. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Continue. See, listen, I don't get in the weeds with y'all in this petty stuff. I, I don't proclaim to be it. So I'm talking about Little Black Book 91. No, okay? I'm not shy. Okay. Okay. You got the invite, Clearly, you got the invite because of the bromance, but we you are better get a weed. You better get a weed. You are coming for me. One. The invite is to all of you, all of us. We is plus okay. ones. We still oh, you extended the invite because Kojo oh, didn't give Lord. us the invite. We came on, yo. You came on, yo. Here goes Jay. I said a definition of a plus one while I give you an invite. <laughs> no, a plus one is you directly. Is, if you get an invitation directly, then you're not a plus one because I got the invite. We didn't get the invitation directly. We got it from to you, Kojo's so channel. What are you talking about? We got it you from guys need to knock it off. We get you... StreamYard invites every week to be on this platform. So we are invited. Okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I need you all to <laughs> knock it off. Coach <laughs> refuses to play my track. I told you that track goes play it. Play it. I don't even have it. Where is it? Man, it's in our group chat. Oh, it's in the it's in our group chat. Yeah, send, send yeah. it again so that it's at the, at the top. So it's at the top, so I can play. Yeah, it. you gotta do what, yeah with, with with Jay's new visuals. The visuals go hard. 
<laughs> you go you go and get us into a warfare that we don't need to be into yeah, please, we please we're trying to <laughs> broke peace out warfare. here <laughs> we are see where this was warfare and i'm like <laughs> see where it was another video by tomorrow and <laughs> we tried our level best with Laurent and maya to broker peace let's just continue that theme we, was, we did so well I'm Y'all did so well because I, I was expecting shots. Have peace. No, because I actually think he's not a bad person. I think he's just that's fair. I don't think he's a bad person either. Yeah, like if I could tell the core of you is good, you're just you're just doing like things oh, that too much. <laughs> too much. Like I'll spend my time on you. If I feel like you're playing in my face or you're not even trying to be a good person, then I'm not gonna spend no time. Um, but Freeway I adopts a toxic person every season, and I put my cape on for one of the ladies every season. So that's, that's I love it. that. So adopted I just LeBron. have adopted Maya, and I adopted LeBron. <laughs> you did, did and I, with you two at the helm, they are gonna get back together again. I no, 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 we, I don't think we want that. <laughs> that's not what we're advocating for. I'm with you two at the helm, I see restoration. <laughs> I was advocating. Mess around and, and, and you'll be playing the track better. for me. <laughs> <laughs> I see Seaway and Sean as captains of those two. Restoration, healing. You know, I just I just see the sinews being put back onto the dry bones. You know what I'm saying to you? I just see the the, the ruach onto the bones and giving it life. I can see how that relationship will come back to life. You know what I'm saying? That resurrection right there. Well, they were never together. But as a woman that's been with a man that used to get drunk, not my husband, of course. Jesus. But a man who used to get drunk and try to cuss me. I'm just like, that is just literally the worst. I was just trying to explain to him. You just can't be doing that. Check group chat. <laughs> Y'all gonna yeah. get in trouble with this uh, this situation, okay? Well, listen, before I play this video, I got a guys, this, this no, is no, no. this first is first of all, first I, of all, you're not gonna get in trouble. It was a plus one who made this, okay? Plus one. Made it wasn't me. We don't have a name. Like Shaggy. It wasn't. It wasn't you. me like Shaggy. I just don't need her to 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 be crying this on the internet promo. again. This is promo. This is this is literally free promo. I just this I don't want to be crying on the internet again. So you know, <laughs> good job. This your face. Hold on, let me change it. Hold on, wait, look at Leron. Look at his little cheeks. <laughs> Looking like Hold he ain't on. causing trouble. Cause I can't do this without exposing my DMs. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> wait there. <laughs> wait there. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, wait. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I got it. I found it. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna get it. Okay, there we go. All right. Can y'all see it? Yes, we can see it. I, I look so cute. You do look so cute. Fabulous smile there. Let's play the video now. Well, uh, never mind. You know what? I don't care way. I doubt. Oh, well, it's Seaway's well, world. My uh, way. <laughs> mind, you know what? Uh, I don't care way. So negative, but comes in body. Bye bye, bye. bye. Here, plus one. Could you be a secondary? You'd be a bye bye. A kid of Pojo channel. You will have your own shit. You will be the baby. A son. Let's go. Bye bye way. Well, uh Ah, uh, we're definitely getting a video tomorrow. <laughs> we're definitely getting a video tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I, I said I'm going to stay out of the mess, but the, my most favorite part is the sun. A I don't, son. A son. A son. <laughs> Yo. Uh, that, I was like, you are going to have me in a video that tomorrow. right there, listen. <laughs> and everybody knows, like, I try to stay away, but I love Kamisha for that. That tra that just trips well, me see, out. Is the, one, the Sean is going to be the one that why you got the video, because he said a name. She said her name. We even say her name. See, look, Sean. Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. I love Kamisha. She makes me laugh. I do watch her channel. I watch in the bushes sometimes. Yes, I do. I watch her channel. You know, I had a membership that I was gifted by her that expired. You know, I do watch. Um, that's all I got. Look, this is ain't this women's ain't this women's uh Yep. Women's History Month. Oh, yeah, so women, women supporting listen, women. Listen, yeah. I just don't want beef. You know, Koji is my, beef. my brother. Is, is yeah, no, that's yeah, no, no. I'm with you. I just don't want beef between them two. I just want us to get along. I don't want everything to be perceived as a sub, a <laughs> shot. You know, just no, it's definitely gonna be a shot. Coexist. Oh, this is a shot. This is a shot. Cause I'm blocked. <laughs> oh, tomorrow, you go, tomorrow you gonna be. 
I'm gonna be blood. adding you tomorrow. There's a shot because I'm blind. My shot was black. <laughs> the video was is like, gonna be what it's gonna this. be. I'm gonna tell you how to shot. The tumble out here. <laughs> I don't care, Ray. Tomorrow. So it's hey, Umbridge. It. It's Umbridge hey, to me, Kamisha. Hey, she so, did this to hey. see me. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> you Yo. know what's so funny? I was about to say some I don't care way today because somebody told me I spazzed. They were like, you need to rethink it. I said, I don't care. <laughs> They're like, we know you don't care. <laughs> I don't care, way. I don't, I don't care, care way. way. Bye, bye, way. <laughs> like, everything you say, you stand on it. I say exactly. You know me very well. You know, stand on your square. I do not care, way. <laughs> uh, I'm letting you lot <laughs> respond to this next video. That's gonna have to do with me. Um, okay, so uh, Patrice and Alonzo. Don't you try um, to inch your way out of it? You posted the video, Negro. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't got nothing to do with it. I, I, I was forced. I was forced to. I was forced to. I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice in the situation. I'm under duress. I'm under duress. You know who to, you know who to send this message to, uh, Mrs. Reviews. Please send it to send it to send it to send it to another send it to send it to the parent plus ones, please, because that's the ones where another round is where all the smoke goes. Yeah, I like another round's got a YouTube channel. In fact, you can add her. You can even put her in your video title next time as well. Like, comment, subscribe to another round. Every time I'm on another round, that intro will be played. So if you enjoy that intro. Beats by Seaway. I don't care way. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to another round. Join the not not the cease and desist. She gonna hit me with that too. Cease and desist way. That's a good one. I can't lie to you. See, this is the fun fact where Sagittarius. The worst mm. thing you could do is block a Sagittarius <laughs> before we can get our point off. We won't get our point off until December. So you just might as well just let us speak. You cannot block a Sag. Damn. We're diabolical. <laughs> this is going to be tomorrow. I can see it now. It's going to be a live waiting for you at 9.15. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> She's in, the gym. she's in the gym. She's not gonna do that. She's busy. Oh no, Patrice and Alonzo. <laughs> Patrice and Alonzo. <laughs> Patrice. And... Let's work that out. Patrice and Alonzo. Um, <laughs> Patrice and Alonzo. When a situation, I want to get your thoughts on Patrice and Alonzo and their situation. Um, you know, because Patrice another dark artist. Yes, Sean. She hates him, and you said it. <laughs> you said it a couple of weekends ago when we did the last live. It keeps showing up. You know, again, this is, I'm going to call her bare minimum Patrice because she is giving, you know, poor Alonzo the bare minimum while he is going above and beyond. And uh, I'm just disappointed at Patrice because then the brother does his emotional intelligence work, speaks to her and says, hey, listen, I kind of felt left out when we was at the, when we was at the cabin and you went and rushed to um you know chaz's aid and i'm you know sitting down in the basement swinging my feet on the chair and she gonna turn around and tell him hey listen you know i would have done it for you so i i just think patrice you know if you don't want him you know we're gonna cue the fantasia song for alonzo because now the tables have turned if you don't want me then don't talk to me she let chaz meet her parents and patrice just got the brother Meanwhile, the brother tells Alonzo he is goofy. The disrespect, although he was being a little goofy, I can't hold you. But, you know, just to just say it out loud is one thing. You could think it, but to say it or to give her that feedback afterwards, I just feel like he just don't get the respect that he deserves. And this guy is literally trying, gave her the best date, is taking her feedback, trying to show her more romance. And she's busy chasing behind Chaz and praying in the closet with him, crying over William. I just feel like she's just, she's too preoccupied. And I think like when somebody is too preoccupied with other people, that means they don't really want you that much. You ain't telling no lies. Jay, what's your thoughts? Sean said them all. I, could, I agree. She's still competing, and um, she's she's a hell of a game player. I'm not mad at it, but she don't want that man. That's what I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say though is, you sitting at the table while a man talking about another woman to your family. That's wild to me too. So, do you? Do you? Why she? Why this man talking about a whole other woman and comparing y'all? 
while you talking to my family that and I'm still chasing you, that's wild. So good luck to that woman. Into the line. Shout out to Kesha. She said she played the sh out of him straight to the left. Yeah, she played him out. When she pulled that letter out of her breast, I just knew that that girl was going to a different level of game playing. I mean, she pulled that out and said, that, brah, still got your letter, baby. So I was like, yeah, she's definitely a game player. She's she smart with it. After pulling Chaz in and talking about that's a, that's her whole husband right there. Um, a man with a plan. So, yeah, I was a little bit like, oh, my God. Um, I know she ain't lying. She's playing around with us. But, yeah, I can't lie to you. I definitely think with Patrice that she knew what she was doing. Um, and poor Alonzo trying to be, you know, the man it is. Even her brother, you know, buoyed it off by, you know, saying, you know, he a little bit corny. Listen, I'm going to tell you the honest truth. There's no world and there's no way in the world that corny being said like that is anything positive. So the fact that her brother said that shows there's already a disrespect. Had that been me, I'd have looked at her and looked to the brother and be like, are you all right? Who are you calling corny? You know what I mean? And I probably would have the relationship anyway, but just saying, you know, you ain't, I ain't going to sit there and be punked. You know what I'm saying? You just, I just can't do it. But um, yeah, that was a bit of a wild thing there. The fact that, 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 that his brother called him corny shows there's a kind of disrespect there as well. It means that she probably hasn't been talking that fondly about you behind the scenes because ain't nobody trying to have their man being called corny in, in public like that by a family member or whatever, especially she, one that she's very close to. She says he's close to her brother. So the fact that he's calling you corny, there ain't no respect. If there's any justice in the world. You know what I mean? Yes, Jay. Are you going to say something? Okay. I don't know see where if you're there. I don't know if you want to add anything else. If not, we'll shift it. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear you. Go no, it's it. just free Alonzo until it's backwards. Chase. I hear it. I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, someone said the confusion. I get it. Yeah, no, I mean, listen. I, I mean, she said she gets butterflies from Alonzo. I think she's probably... That butterflies is stigmatized. I think it's just giving, you know, some young precious D, okay? You know, and that's what she's getting butterflies over. She's thinking about the young precious D that she's going to get. Keep her occupied for a little while. And she's going to move right on, okay? Because she's looking for a man, not a boy, apparently, you know? So, uh... You know, it's what it is. Someone said they're in cahoots. It could be, yeah. They could be cahoots. I mean, I told you, we like a little humor and stuff like that. But when it becomes to that annoying phase, it's we it's checkout time. So that's pretty much what happened with her. It's I can't take you serious. I don't know when you're actually being serious or not. And then the brother had to literally be like, "Man, you too goofy." That's why, like, if the brother comes along and literally sits there and tells you you're too goofy, he didn't even tell it just to her, Patrice on the side. He told it to him directly you're a problem. So Alonzo has to look into that. I mean, I give Alonzo a lot of credit because everything the lady's been asking of him, he's been stepping up. But you do have to cut the silly list up, out sometimes, especially when you're being introduced to people's family. They want they want the they want the real you, but they also want how you're gonna take care of their sibling. How they gonna take you gonna take care of their family member. You know what I'm saying? What is the plan, so to speak? And if you goofing through the plan, they're not going to take you serious. So he got to look at that for future. You ain't telling lies. He does need a plan. Can't lie to you. He does need a plan at the moment. So yeah, hopefully you will have one. Go for An something. exit plan. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left. In the closet. That's my stuff, baby. If I bought it, then please don't touch. The South African version kills it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um all right cool uh let's leave them behind um and then obviously we had uh mika and and justin um obviously you know laron let us know that justin does <laughs> mika was calling him for justin's advice so um but obviously mika and justin uh you know what well one for them and what did you see for them too what, what did you guys feel about that particular situation you know how do you guys feel about uh, Mika and and thing? I I still think four to six hours is a long time. Now I know people I know people at work and stuff, which I I I, I you know I wasn't just taking into consideration. But I'm just saying, so what? I can't even get a text in between work. I'm just I'm just gonna tell you the truth. I know we all got busy works. Man, you know how we be stalking you because you be like four to six days replying to us. <laughs> 
I do be doing. I do be taking some time to reply. I can't lie to you. It's because I'm going to okay. see you. I'm going to see you in another country, guys. That's what I'm saying. I mean, we're not on an intimate <laughs> level, but therefore, you know, still. But yeah, four to, four to six hours is a long time. I, I mean, it it just depends on how your life is set up. I just always say, you know, don't give somebody early off things that you can't live up to. So if you're calling them and texting them every day, every hour on the hour, they're going to expect that. Just just put them at your expectations on how you move. So if you calling them every other day, you just call them every other day. Now y'all can compromise as y'all go further down the line. Like, hey. I need a little bit more time for you. We getting more serious in mm. this phase right now. I mean, I, I know they're just really having a conversation of going forward. This is what I expect of you. But in this phase that they're in right now, just learn each other's process first. Learn how they move before you just be putting these limits. Oh, I need you to be calling me this all this time. Because at the same token, Mika is saying I need four to six hours, but then you'll put a man on the back burner for your kids. Now, what if your kids is taking more longer to attend to? Then, then the four to six hours, then you're breaking your own rule. You know, your kids got some sporting event or y'all doing something together for the day. That's your kid's time. So the expectations has to be both on both sides. Yeah. At the end of the day. But I'm going to stand by my thing. This is a situation ship. So a lot of stuff that LeBron wants to tell us about what she's saying about him, it don't really matter because she's not taking the man serious don't anyway. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> It's a situation. <laughs> I talk a shit about a lot of situationships. It... Four six hours is just mad. I'm so sorry, especially when you're jumping in the bed of the person and you out here doing all doing up. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm so sorry. Yeah, four six hours. Is a Baby, I'm not waking out my sleep. I'm not waking out my sleep. If that's regular, no, no, no. If that's regular, <laughs> that's egregious. That I'm is egregious. That is egregious on the highest level with social media and all that we have. Four six hours. You can't drop a text in between your, your lunch break. Get the frick out was of here, man. Was it a text or just a call? Or just all around communication? Uh, was, what, what was she asking for? Maybe was, I think, maybe, I don't know if she was, I don't know all if she was a or, All around. <clears throat> I think mean, it's like, I think he just said he, he needs time and it's space and he basically needs space, like four, six hours. But whenever someone starts, starts that start conversation that way, I just know where it's going. I kind of need to know, like, are you asking for four to six hours after you get off of work? Because that's wild to me. Because that's the whole day. Okay. If that's what you're, if that's what he's saying, that's definitely wild. Like, I need four to six hours to decompress after I got away from the kids. Like, bro, that's the rest of the day. Because by that time, we ain't got no time together left. You get out at three, now it's seven, eight, nine. That's what I'm saying. Little, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, maybe. Okay, so let's say, let's say for instance. Okay, let's say for instance when you, and see, this is this is this is my thing. You y'all know you don't like these people. I'm just gonna be fucking honest. You don't like these people. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't have swore. But you just y'all just don't like these people because look, let me tell you something. When you like people, yeah, and you like their company, you like their attention, you like their conversation. Some of you don't like your your, your people's attention. I, I can tell you don't like talking to them. They they they're bothering you at this point. You know what I mean? Because like you can't. I'm telling you, you can't even drop a little morning like, hey, how you doing? Listen, I'm gonna be at work. Um, you know, I want to message you before I go to work because you know, once I get to work, I'm out. I'm out because I can't have my phone or whatever. That's fair. That's, that's fair. Like, you know what I mean? There's some jobs where you can't have your phone with you. You know what I'm saying? Which I get. You know what I mean? I totally get that. You can't have your phone on you where, what job you have. That, that's understandable. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Um, but he didn't explain it that way. He just said four, six hours. If, I, if I'm if i explaining, I would have said, listen, well, look, whilst I'm at work, I can't have my phone on me. It wouldn't be four, six hours. It would just be, whilst I'm at work, I can't have my phone on me. But after that, I'm good. Yeah, we want to talk. If you have to say four to six hours, it includes everything outside of that workplace. Because if it was a workplace thing, you would have said, oh, no, I can't have my phone at work, so I can't talk to you then. You know what I mean? Then that's different. But the fact that he's mentioned hours is telling me I need to know. He's going to be distancing his ass yeah, from that nah, relationship. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the whole problem right there. Like, I don't know, for that six hours while you sleeping? <laughs> like, I can give you yeah, that. You're going to be sleeping, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Sleep don't count. You got to be kidding no, me. I, said, I can give you that for the six hours while you're sleeping, but if you're awake, send me a text, a little emoji or something. Do something. I don't know. Look, I'm with you, Coach, and I know, Jay, you're somewhere in the middle, but, you know, I'm a money-long kind of guy. 
talk to you for hours, hours and hours. I want to sit up underneath you for hours. Like when I'm just getting to like you, then you ain't got to worry about me, you know? And Mm -hmm. I think that just goes back to if I like you, you know, if I like you, I want to talk to you. Even, you know, well, now as I'm a little older, you know, I don't talk to my friends as much. But, I, you know, when we're younger, you talk to your friends all the time. You know what I mean? Like, it's just that kind of thing. Um, And us, hell, we don't damn Mutual near up. go four to six hours without texting yes. each other. One of us on the group chat, somebody's talking to somebody, somebody's good. Like, I just think, like, when you're connected with somebody it's ve- and you have things in common and you have things to talk about, um, there's d- d- it just organically happens when mm. you have things in common. And again, that's when it goes back to when you have organic things in common with the person and you truly enjoy each other's company it's going to be natural for you to have communication. And nobody's going to say, like, every day you sit on the phone with them for hours every day on end. No, but you should have some level of communication with somebody you're getting to know, um, you know, where they shouldn't have to be questioning, oh, where where are you? You get what I'm saying? And we're not talking about work. We're not talking about sleep. We understand different people's jobs have different, you know, levels where they can communicate. But you can definitely, you know, nobody's working on an oil rig. You can definitely shoot somebody a text. Hey, was thinking about you. How's your day? Can't wait to talk to you after work, right? Because then that's setting expectations about what your day looks like. And that's being intentional about the dating process and where you are. But listen, going back to forget about the tea that gets spilled, you know, sorry. Um, But, you know, we can see enough on our screen to know that Justin is kind of somewhere in between. And he's also told us very early on in the process when he was sitting with his boys and he had um, a couple of the girls over to his place or his boy's place, wherever he was. um, He was like, I'm just trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm trying to figure out between a situationship and a this and a that. I'm paraphrasing, but ultimately that was the vibe that we got that mm, he's still trying to debating how serious he's going to be. He's also said like he want kids, but then he don't want kids. So it's a little, you know, I, I just think they're on the a different page. And I think this is the warning sign for Mika. If she didn't see it yet, oh boy is probably not that serious. I, unfortunately, it, I don't think it's going anywhere, but I like to see Mika smile. You know, I love seeing her smile. She looked really happy. She looked like she was enjoying Justin's company. But it's unfortunate from the way this looks. mm, It's not going nowhere good. Maybe it's four to six hours includes gym, meditation, and reading. You know what I'm saying? I just need this quiet moment. I got to do my thing. I got my process. You know, I don't I don't know. I, I need more context because that was just a chopped up conversation, to be honest. Like, I don't know. Because I mean, no, that's, that's everybody right. has different things. Like you know, it's it's some people do a daily retreat to themselves mm. from the world. They disconnect from all things. In a relationship, you know, you disconnect from all things. That's I mean, right. when, right. you, when you when you have divorces up. I know, but that that's true. But that but sometimes when you have certain mental mental, I don't want to say issues or whatever. No, so when you have mm-hmm. certain mental things and stuff like that. You tend to pull back from the world a lot. So I don't know what's going on in Justin's head overall to be why he needs all of this thing. He's basically said he hasn't had a real relationship in the last five to four to five years or whatnot. It's kind of sounding like he's an introverted loner. And some of those people are just used to their space. And so that's going to be a transition that he has to process through when going into a relationship. No, that's fair. I mean, listen, again, every relationship is going to be different, isn't it? Some people like a bit more space and everything as well. So it's not <clears throat> it's not 100% that this is a absolute red flag or anything. It's more for something that flagged up, you know what I mean? Like, I think maybe, maybe I'm again, maybe I'm projecting a little bit as well, because I think in the past four to six hours is when I'm doing my, I'm doing my avoidancy stuff. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, but my avoidancy also plays in because I also don't like that person as much as I thought I did. You know what I mean? So when you do get someone that you actually like, when I was even talking to my friend about this, and it happened to her, and it's like you end that the in the beginning. I'm not talking about in the overall. I'm talking about in the beginning. That initial stage where you're meant to build up the foundations. If we ain't talking like crazy, when I'm saying too much crazy, as in that you like each other's company, that you want to be around each other, you want to talk to all the time. Yeah, you might want to look at that because, like I said, you have to build a foundation for the rest of your relationship. So the beginning part is the honeymoon phase where you're building 
a lot of your foundational aspects, which really does do a lot of the work later on. It, it sets itself up for later on. So yeah, people will be on, people will do things that they wouldn't ordinarily do in two or three years time. Like you might stay up, you risk, you know, you go to work buzzing with your eyes all burning because you had a four hour conversation with your man or your girl in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? You might have had to say to your friend, listen, I can't talk tonight. I've got to call my guy, da, 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 or call your girl, you know what I'm saying? And you were burning. But after two, three years, you're like, I can't do that. It's not sustainable. So the very beginning part is what I'm talking about. That very beginning part is important. Like, so if we are already, someone's already saying four to six hours, that's what I was kind of picking up on. I was like, he potentially is going to set boundaries very early on about space and gapping. And that oftentimes it's going to get worse. So if we start at four to six, we probably going to get worse. So it's, it's, it's not that it's a hundred, it's not like a re absolute red flag. It's just more of a case of, um, a bit more, um, of a thought process. Yeah. Go for it today. I think if, if it was just the four to six hours things by itself, I mean, we could probably say, okay, he just one of these people who need us a little bit more space. But I think from the beginning, if you got two eyes, you can see that this is um, a, a bit of a mixed match with the fact that he, he speaks out of two sides of his mouth. He clearly wants kids and he's just, he's going after a beautiful woman that has two kids and a small child. You know, I just feel like, it's not giving, I'm really trying to enter into a situation where not only do I have to get to know you, but at some point I'm gonna have to get to know at least your small child in the beginning. To me, it just feels like it's just unserious. So let me just stay where I'm at. I talk to you six hours or more, and then we could just go from there. I think Justin, because he's so, he's mature, he knows how to speak to women. Um, he does the small things like follow, like how he followed up with Rashina. Um, he's he's very smart, so he's not bouncing from woman to woman like Chaz. He's focusing on one woman, right? Like he's doing all the right things. So I think it makes it hard to figure out that he's still unserious, if that makes sense. He's still not serious. He's just doing what it takes to get where he wants to go. That's what he's doing. But being serious, no. So I think this six hours thing is just like you said, Kojo, it's for most men, even men who want space, that's a bit of a cover up. In the beginning, most men, even men with space, don't need that much space. They're trying to get to know you. They're trying to be up under you. They want they want you to know that, they're, that you're there, that they're there for you. So um, <clears throat> I don't know. I hope Mika's not getting caught up by it, though. Um, That's all. That's my only hope for her is that she's not getting caught up by it because they're a mixed match for lots of different reasons. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. I think that's, that's the thing. And Seaway made a good point about in the very beginning, um, you know, you, you're, you're, you're less likely to be disconnecting, you know? Uh, I think if you really, when, when, when we really value a woman, uh, and want to build a future with her, we want to give her less room to find somebody else. And especially they're in a ready to love dating process where, you know, she potentially could have other connections. You don't want to leave room for that connection to, you know, for somebody else's connection to build if you're truly invested in that person. And at this point, we've seen it. And I know Justin came in a little bit later, but Anytime, even when we, we consider the Ready to Love show, when you see two people that like each other genuinely, they start to lock in. And you start to see locking in and intentionality. You know, guys, we put our best game up in the beginning. We may wane off towards the middle to the end or at another point, but in the beginning, if we like you, we're putting our best game forward. Now, if you got to ask me three, four times about my communication so early on in the process, and this is what I think Koja was saying too, that is somewhat of a red flag because it means my interest is probably not where it needs to be. And in that gap time where I'm using time for myself, it's probably me thinking like, mm, do I really want this situation? Mm, I kind of do want kids because Justin has waffled back and forth. So he might be like, mm, I like Mika, but I really want kids. And I know she don't want no more kids. You know, I like Mika, but is she really the one that I want to walk to the bridge with? You get what I'm saying? So th that space 
is not good so very early on in the beginning. And I think Mika's antennas are up, rightfully so, because it's probably a sign that mm, it's probably not going anywhere serious if that's what seems like she wants. Good breakdown. Love that. Good vibe points. Um, okay. Uh, I think we've covered everybody now, right? Because that's, that's the three. Because with Laurent and obviously Maya, we've, we've killed it with them. So um, I think that's it. Mika, Chaz, and Alonzo. Yeah, that's pretty much everybody. Well, listen, guys, it's been great. It's been amazing. We've had some fun. Um, you know, the ladies and Sean did a great job in questioning uh, Laurent. Didn't let him get off. Asked some really good questions. Um, came at different angles um, and give us a great show. So really appreciate you guys being on here. We had 800 people on the show today. So shout out to you guys um, as well. Those of you who are in the chat, uh, shout out to you guys and members. We've got a membership tomorrow. You know what? I was going to choose one of the topics. I might do one of the topics plus the Diddy thing because the Diddy thing is blown up right now. You know what I mean? People, Diddy, that, Diddy out here without a house. Did he do it? Looks like he did. You know what I mean? Like, So we might have to discuss that as well tomorrow as well because I think that's going to be an important topic. Um, currently in the sphere and then I'll add another topic underneath it as well um, but yeah so make sure you guys are tuning for membership tomorrow um, I've also got a live with Dominique as well because I got one up I just remember I got one at 5.30 with him so Dom is going to be here um, at 5.30 so um, uh, I said 5.30 5.30 Eastern yeah what's on wait what's on your thingy no it, uh, we'll have it at 4 so that would be enough time okay that's fine that's fine yes I can get to watch my show in. Um, so yeah 5.30 uh, and then I will have our members live at 8 p.m. Um, EST. It's going to be a late one for me Tuesday night, but I'm sleeping late because I can't do it. I'm no longer young, guys. Um, but yes, uh, Sean, if you can just give us the... Uh, um, someone said hashtag no diddy. <laughs> I love Lens Review. Shout out to him as well, guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate you as well. Um, I'm going to you know put a post you know up actually as well. New, you know that's the no pause, no diddy. That's the new no pause. Diddy, yeah. That, yeah. So whenever you have a pausable <laughs> memory, just say no diddy. <laughs> I gotta say no diddy. I gotta add that too. Oh damn. <laughs> no, just when you have a pausable be... moment, just say no diddy. Oh my god. I'm gonna be saying some questionable stuff. Um, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> uh but also I'm gonna put up a post later on as well, guys, uh for membership for membership people. I want I wanna some relationship couples, you know. I wanna start interviewing some people on YouTube. I've got a few couples lined up, so I want to start interviewing some relationship couples already on YouTube. You know, just so they can tell us their little story of how they came together, like that, blah, blah, blah. I like that kind of stuff. So, and I've been watching a lot of those kind of videos. So, if you've got a relationship couple that you want me to kind of like reach out to, try and interact with, or if you've got a connection with them as well, that's good. That's even better. You can save me their trouble um, and you can connect to us as well. That'd be really good. So, I'll put up a post for it because um, I want to start interviewing uh, couples and that as well. Yes, Jay. Do Courtney and Eddie send some stupid person in your comment? And I'm gonna call clearly call them stupid. Gonna sit here and try to tell me that I called that lady Miss Courtney, uh, Corny. They ca clearly can't hear with their dumb ass, but yes, do them because I like them. I like them. I was giving her her props for calling Laron Laron and stuff, and they dumb ass want to come in your comments being stupid. Damn. I love you, baby. Uh, okay, benediction time now. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, <laughs> what's the fire sign? I never expected that. I never expected, I never expected it. I never expected it. Stand up. Uh, uh, all righty. Well, li listen. Li can we end with peace? You know. So you know. <laughs> please, let's just let's just be peaceful. You know, in the comments with one another. And let's be peaceful, you know, in our relationships. And, you know, thank you, LeBron. You know, I'm going to start off with the thanks. We're going to sandwich it for you, bro. You know, we thank you for, for coming up and allowing us to talk to you, you know, and, and really ask you some questions. We appreciate you, you know, for sitting through that, um, you know, but we really want you to do better, you know. And if you're watching, we know you watch. We know you support the channel. If you're watching, we really encourage you to do better, be better. Uh, you know, relationships should not be conditional, right? If you care about people, you should be the best version of yourself for yourself. Um, and despite what you may think the other person is doing, right? So hold yourself to that standard. Hold yourself accountable. You know, let's talk to each other. You know, words matter. So how we speak in our relationships are super important. How we talk about people, the words we use to describe them, all are important because they connect to our heart 
right? So we want to make sure our words match how we feel. And when they, when we, when they don't, then we need to correct those things. Uh, you know, the relationships that we saw play out on the show, um, you know, listen, I said it earlier, Patrice, listen, if you don't want him, then don't talk to him, you know, but don't drag him along. Don't bare minimum him. We don't like when guys do that to women. So please don't do that to a guy. If you don't like him, don't string him along. Don't have him jumping through hoops that he's never going to reach. You know, be honest. Just be honest. Let's be real. Uh, you know, and when it comes to uh, Chaz, our good brother Chaz and Vanessa, honesty is is the best policy. We always go with honesty. So if we're honest and we're true, then we don't have to we don't have to replay the events. We don't have to catch receipts. We don't need to rewind the tapes. We don't have to worry about editing because when we are being honest then it all can be can't be chopped and spliced if we are being honest so be honest be honest with yourselves first and then be honest with those who you're in relationships with it's very very important back to you coach <laughs> so see way um yes guys listen appreciate you guys tomorrow we'll get we'll be back again action packed ready to go baby um, so listen, we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for another great, great shows and the members live only later on at 8 p.m. EST as well. Got Dom at 5.30 and we'll be on another round talking about uh, Summer's House, which I need to watch. So tomorrow my day is going to be a little bit more lighter as well. So listen, guys, thank you so much all. Oh, before I go, let me first and foremost shout out to all the people that also um, sent a super chat in. Thank you, you guys really killed it, did so well. Thank you so, so, so much. I really do appreciate it. Shout out to, to another round for the five, uh, you know, uh, giftings for you guys. Again, I really do appreciate this. Uh, it means that people get to be a part of the show and it means that when they, hey, when you listen, you got to take over guys, okay? All right, so it doesn't stay that way, all right? So, uh, but shout out to another round, you know. You know, um, also, we also had under the olive branches joining uh, the giftings as well. Shout out to you. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. I love when they get into competition. It, it makes me feel nice. Chaz, I need you to pay attention to the soft life that's being created here. We also had Aries as well, dropping uh, again as well. Some great uh, uh, memberships for people as well. So they can also be part of the channel too. Shout out to you two Aries. And then we have it's my way, sea way, sun. <laughs> A cease and desist way uh came up with the giftings as well. Shout out to you, big sis. We appreciate you as always, as well. Showing us where the power and the money lies as well. We appreciate you, ladies. Okay. You guys are supporting the ministry like Sousa and 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 you know uh uh other uh, women who are supporting Jesus in his ministry. We appreciate you. You know what I mean? We appreciate you, okay? Uh, man them. I need you to get with it, okay? Don't let these ladies do all the wild work, okay? All right? I need you all to support the soft life over here. But no, I really, really do appreciate you. Let's drop a little song. Shout out, baby. Listen, audience, thank you so much. All of you guys who sent a, a, a super chat in, thank you so much as well. Honestly, it's appreciated today. Y'all killed it. Okay, someone said hashtag black women. I appreciate. Yeah, this is why I love black women. You know, it's why we love black women around here. Okay, we can only date black. Okay, all right. No offense to anybody else who isn't of a particular color, but you know, it's black around here. Um, listen. Uh, yes, see, see, way. Shout out my TikTok. <laughs> oh, go ahead. You go. You go ahead. You you deserve to shout your TikTok. Go on, darling. If you guys like sports, anything NBA, follow my TikTok. It's Seaways World Esquire. If you like all of my Bulls content and my sports content. And if you like this type of stuff, follow me at As Told by Seaway. I'm going to start posting more over there. I need to do more. But those are my TikToks. Well, you got two TikToks. Yeah, because I, I don't want my sports people interacting <laughs> with the other stuff. Because those are two different people. <laughs> oh, you mean when you're cussing them out? Yeah. But follow both of them, honestly. You can support you. You gotta watch other stuff, so it's That's my all. way. Yes, yeah, you way. Uh Jay, do you have anything you wanna your channel and everything? Let them know. Let yeah, them shout out channel. to all the plus ones out there in the chat tonight. Uh congratulate yourselves by hitting that like button. I appreciate you. Plus ones 
up in here because, you know, apparently we all plus ones in Kojo's chat. And um, y'all can follow me on another round JS on here on YouTube and on Instagram. Under, it's another round underscore JS. So you can follow me there. And like I said, we'll be here tomorrow with Martha Vineyard Summer House. So me a bit. Shout out to Jay for over a yeah. thousand and climbing a thousand two hundred and twenty something the last time I saw. So keep come on keep climbing, baby girl. We love now, shout story. out to those people that are following me. It's y'all doing it. You know what I'm saying? Keep showing the love. I love interacting with y'all. Y'all are a, a riot and hilarious. I love it. And they make... active. We be going crazy over there. Yeah. Y'all really be doing a riot over there. <laughs> clearly, I, clearly, I've not I've put too much reins on you guys. <laughs> Y'all got no restraints. <laughs> the reins is off over there. <laughs> we are polite over here, but the reins is off over here. <laughs> it's given after dark, after hours. Maybe that, the, the suit and the tie is loose. It's given. <laughs> hey, it's a local pub, baby. This is for drinks and stuff. This is where you wind down after your work, your busy work schedule. You know, you come over. I'm no matter. at it. That's why I still around. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Get another one in, baby. Get another one in. Drinks and another me. one. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> <laughs> and another one <laughs> all right let me let me behave all right guys listen i appreciate you a lot uh stay locked stay loaded we appreciate you we'll see you again tomorrow night um and like i said we'll be on uh, another round earlier on as well talking about uh Mar 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 marvin's vineyard is it marvin's vineyard, marvin's vineyard? summer house yeah. marvin's vineyard Some, summer house marvin's vineyard um, Mar Mar we'll not marvin <laughs> not marvin is that marvin martha. oh martha Oh, sorry, Martha. Oh, Martha, you worry about much things, but be like Mary, sit at the feet of Jesus. Look, anyway, listen, guys, uh, we're gonna, I've gotta go. You can tell the Bible's really me now. I've been quoting scriptures everywhere. It doesn't, doesn't even fit. Um, but listen, we appreciate you lot. Stay locked, stay loaded. We'll see you again very, very soon. Tomorrow night we go again as well. Much love, much appreciation. Oh, we got a new member too, Jay So So. Yay! That's Yay, what we're talking that's about. We right love to see that. Welcome. Come home. on now. Come on now, welcome to the club. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna bounce, we're gonna leave, uh, you know, and uh, we appreciate you. All right. Let the challenge.